<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we are the brand new crew of Missed Opportunities, the latest uh, D&D show to be going on this lawful, stupid channel. Um, we are very excited tonight to start uh, playing in front of you our Curse of Strahd game. We are two sessions in. And uh, we've got everyone up to the appropriate level three. Check out the little sidebar uh, for the uh, D&D Beyond extension. You can go into D&D Beyond, check out people's characters. It's a pretty cool little tool. Uh, get an idea of what we are working with here and see if it's going to be enough to put up with all of the deadly challenges that Barovia has to offer. We'll see. Um, playing with us, we have a lovely cast of six characters. Um, so if uh we can go around our little circle here if um claire if you would like to introduce yourself and tell me who you will be playing yeah and, so uh, uh, pushing uh, through this <laughs> journey into barovia uh my name is elena um i am playing claire bakale a um warlock paladin dual class uh who also follows the goddess saloon very cool jade uh, I am playing the very strong, I mean weak, <laughs> and very, uh, constitu he's got constitution, but he's more mm. like a sickly weak wizard, um, and I am playing Oath's half-brother. So there you go. Very cool. And Oath, uh, what is uh, Elimus's half-sister like? Oh, she's a hoot and a holly, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Essie. Um, her name's Esmeralda, but everybody calls her Essie, uh, is a fun-loving half-elf bard uh, who can probably try to drink somebody under the table, even though she probably shouldn't. I will challenge you on that. Please do! <laughs> come at me! <laughs> but uh, yeah, she loves her brother, she loves partying, and that's just pretty much about it. Cool, cool. All right, Maris. Who is Maris and who is playing Maris? Hi, I'm Liz. I am playing Maris, a half-elf cleric. Um, she is also a follower of Saloon with Claire. And uh, she's here to hopefully help out the group. <laughs> and she has a dark past. And she knows her spells very well. <laughs> she's oh. learned a lot of spells. So well. so she knows well. them so well. <laughs> Very cool. Ah, uh, Sorive. Yes, I'm Kyle. I'm playing uh, Sorive Irtos Kaj, the uh, lizard folk druid, and um, he is he is hungry. Um, yeah, <laughs> trying to find his way among these odd smooth skins. Very cool. And finally, Jeswaldo. Hey everybody, my name is Sean. Uh, sorry, I don't have a video up. Um, I've been displaced by uh, tornadoes and such, and the uh, house is where I'm staying does not quite have the bandwidth to support video chat. But when I return home, you'll get to see how ugly I really am. I promise. <laughs> um, I am going to be playing the swashbuckler Jesualdo Tocarembo de la Tumba del Fuego Santa Maliba Zacateca, the Jote de Salicruze de la Rosa. He is uh, quite outrageous in many ways. <laughs> Very cool. Everyone just needs to think of Princess Bride. No, no, he, yes. no, that's absolutely not. Completely different. He's his own man. That's right. <laughs> A little bit of super brief background. Um, so all of these characters um, seem to have fallen into a strange dreamlike state before awakening in Barovia, uh, where their very reality seemed to sort of end itself into a nightmare. A few common themes pervaded these nightmares, one of them being the presence of some sort of fire. Each of them became entranced by some sort of flame before they realized they were no longer where they thought they were. Another thing is all of them saw at some point a woman in a white dress with flowing red auburn hair. We will touch back on the characters' individual dreams as they may have some bearing upon the game 
uh, at a later time, which the players have no idea about. So uh, we will flash back to them at some point. But for now, after being lured into a stately home in a mist-surrounded village, you guys met the ghosts of two children and found the monster in the basement that they had cried to you about. Indeed, it was an enormous hulking mass of rotted plant and organic matter called Lorgath the Destroyer. Uh, it was summoned by the apparitions of a long dead cult that summoned it forth to attack you. You succeeded in slaying Lorgath the Decayer, and it lies rotting in front of you. There is quiet in the house. The chanting which previously pervaded, saying, he is ancient, he is the land. And then, uh, Lorgath the Decayer, we awaken thee, death be praised. These were echoing all around you, and now there is once again silence the slight trickling sound of the water surrounding you in this underground ritual chamber. Only the sounds of your companions. What do you do? Well, that went rather well, I think. <sighs> Speak for yourself. Claire, are you okay? Uh, I've had better days. <laughs> um, didn't expect to be passing out three times today, but... Um... Nope. Just, we're just going to keep going. I'm going to dust myself off a little bit. I've probably got water logged everything. Um, this is pleasant. <sighs> well, I don't know about you, but I would like to get out of here as quickly as possible. Should we go tell the children? Or do you think they already know? Um, well, we told them that we would check in with them. Um, yeah. So I think we should hold true to our word. Um, everyone okay? Uh, yes. Perfectly yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. I do like our bard's suggestion of returning the bones of the children to, or not returning, but taking them and putting them in the crypt. Yep. Yeah, right. I totally that agree. All right. Okay. Um... Let's just, before we leave, uh, take a quick pass around the room, make sure we're not missing anything. Um, I, having observed the uh, perceptive tendencies of our uh, wizard friend, I turn to Alimus and ask him if he sees anything of note here before we depart this. I room. have still got Detect Magic running, actually. So, yeah, I will look around if okay. I can. Um, as you, you pass around this room, uh, sort of having the sending forth your magical sensor ability and um, a few items, certainly the cloak that you found earlier. Uh, I believe you found a couple potions as well. Mm -hmm. Radiate yes. a magical energy. However, um, though it seems to have been summoned forth by uh, otherworldly beings, this does seem to be actually an organic creature that you killed. Um, there is the slightest, slightest whisper of conjuration magic coming from the altar itself. But um, whatever magic was done there, it was done in the past. And it is just the aura of a misdeed long forgotten. In the uh, Shambling Mound, do we see the bones of the, the uh, stillborn? Uh, go ahead and make an, well, investigation check if you're going to be digging through this. Uh, 18. So you do find some human bones, similar to what you found in the cult's dining quarters that you explored before. Um, easy to find as well. You're looking through these. Yeah, there are sort of human-sized incisor gnawing marks on these bones, but uh, none of them would be small enough to be a, a newborn or unfortunately stillborn child. Uh, none yeah. that you can see. Okay. I really think he's dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was looking for the stillborn's remains. 
so we could put the baby at rest. Well, I see nothing here. All right. Then let's pack it up, head upstairs, grab those bones. Right. Well, um, can we get uh, the door? Did the door close behind us? Uh, the one that we came through? Yes. It did. So, so you're currently in this ritual chamber and there is a portcullis yes. that is shut, blocking so... your way out. However, you do see easily against the wall, there is sort of what looks to be a winch mechanism on the side right. you are right now. Then uh, let's go try to open that up. Okay. Who's going to pull the try and... Uh, I'll give it a door. shot. <laughs> Oh, right. do, or would, would you myself. like to come Thank over you. here? I take a, I take a, <laughs> take it in my jaw and try and like pull it and then push it. And... Got it. Uh, Whoever is doing so, <laughs> make an athletics check uh, with advantage if someone is proficient in the athletic skills oh, helping you. Oh shoot! I forgot. Hold on, hold on. I was about to do it with my own. Stats, Technically, but... I have half proficiency. <laughs> Jack of all trades doesn't <laughs> quite count for that. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> all right. Someone could help you to great effect, but. That's fair. How do I? Oh, okay. Sorry. Forgot to get everything up. Okay. There we go. Strength. Did I roll it? That's a yep. 10. You've got a oh. 10 as a result. And, oh, and 15. it doesn't budge uh, as you kind of feel your teeth slipping. You've got these like rows of sharp teeth and there's like, you know, the, um, the uh, handle, and you feel them slip one by one, like <laughs> and finally slipping between <laughs> oh. your teeth, and it's like a finally about to slip out of the front. So you've got it just with your front teeth, and then um, your paladin friend just kind of puts it a couple hands to your snout <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and pushes it, and then <laughs> it just raises up, and then you, f you hear a chain mechanism raising um there is also it reaches a point where it <laughs> seems to lock in place uh All can right. i fit through the door what kind of creature are you right now a dire wolf i'm like the size of a horse right and you guys have a very large wolf next to you uh yes uh it is a 10 feet wide uh it is a large door i pat can you I, on I the can't... head good job <laughs> <laughs> i can't fit through any, anything else though right yeah, really, so the path yeah. down you guys took was through a very narrow spiral staircase. All right, mm -hmm. I'll just I kind of like look like like I'm doing the calculations, and then I'll just transform back into myself. All right. Okay. Yeah. When he does, um, I'll look at him and say, "Maybe something with opposable thumbs next time might help." <laughs> <laughs> but not the spider. I I did not care for the spider at all. I'm all right, the spider was a bit weird, to be honest. No, the spider is very useful. Wasn't the there was a useful. secret way to get back to the... Um, yes, we did find a trapdoor that leads to the first floor. Mm -hmm. um, With the wolves, we, right? Yes, the wolves that scared the living daylights out of me. So, um, I think... Well, I mean, we, if we're going to go uh, check on the kids, we might as well just take the spiral staircase back up. Mm. Well, we got to go to the, uh, the crypts first. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, uh, their bodies are upstairs, aren't they? Yeah, yes, in that yes, room. Yes, you, yes. You, you had this crypt area that you originally mm -hmm. descended to from the attic, mm -hmm. and then from there you found another locked door that led yeah. you down to these ritual chambers. Okay. So, upstairs to the kids? Right. All right, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll lead the way up. Eli, we'll find... do you mind casting light again so people can actually see? It's probably still going. Well, I've also got this bullseye lantern. Well, I also have a lantern. Uh, he hmm. picked it up um, earlier. Yeah, we well, did. <laughs> Still has some oil in it too. Yeah. yeah. You guys found a chest that had the remnants of what looked to be the belongings of many adventurers. Yeah. That's where we got the potions of healing, the cloak. There were several other mundane items in there. Oh, and someone's the taking notes. And the shiny sword. Oh, good, because yes, um, <laughs> Elena can tell me then what they are, because I can't remember what I took. Oh, oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, was there scrolls there, weren't there? No, scrolls oh. were uh, were the previous session. We oh, had okay. blessed spiritual weapon and mm -hmm. one more, because I remember asking about it. Oh, yeah, Liz has uh, got you found a spell book session. somewhere. Oh, I got yeah, a spell book, yeah. Elimus has the spell book. Liz has, or sorry, um, 
Maris has the uh, scrolls that we got. Oh, oh, that's a spell book that I asked Peter to let me know, wasn't it? Yeah, like yes. a week ago to let Peter to let me know. He said, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. No problem. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Oh, you've had you've had so much time to look through that spell book. It's too bad you didn't have it in all your free time these days. <laughs> DM, uh, was there yeah. not also some jewelry that we did not take? Uh, or did we take? We the I'm pretty sure we took everything. Oh, yeah, good. All right. Everything. Just making sure. Yes. You pocketed everything. <laughs> I I have quite the list. Right now we're going to add to it some bones. Yes, so you will be able to um, head all the way up. You will find the, uh, in still in the attic, kind of pacing around the room, you will find the translucent ghostly figures of Rose and Thorn. Okay. Um, the little boy, about two years old, you think, and then probably about a five-year-old girl, comforting. Um, he is just kind of looking, taking toys out of his chest, putting them back in kind of absentmindedly. And she is just sitting on a bed, kicking her feet back and forth, and just looking with an empty expression at the dollhouse sitting at the foot of her bed. It's plenty to play with here, but they don't seem to really be playing with any of their toys. And also noticeable in the center of the room is the remains of their earthly bodies mm -hmm. curled to one another and... Um, just very sickly and thin looking. You know, it's quite certain they starved to death up here, locked in the room. Mm -hmm. I really hate the people who own this house. Yeah. You and me both. Um, you I hear the little been... boy look up from his a toy horse that he's just taken off. You come back? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm so hungry. Um... You know what? Uh, remember that um, monster you told us about? The one that's mm -hmm. down in the basement? Um, mm -hmm. That that monster is gone. You don't have to worry about that anymore. We took care of it. Mm. And um, it's mom know, and dad. Um, so you know what? We um, we found them downstairs sleeping. They're they're very comfortable asleep, and we were thinking, all of us, that. Um, if you wanted, we could bring you guys down to join them to go to sleep so you could get some good rest. How does that sound? Go ahead and make a persuasion check with advantage. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, did that go through? No, it did not. How do I do this? Come on. Um... Okay, I think. Uh, well, it seems the oh, 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 oh. so. one is a critical. <laughs> That's there are technically awesome. not critical successes and skill checks, but, but it still twenty-five feels is. Good. <laughs> you see the eyes soften a bit, and yeah, I'm real tired too. Okay, hungry. Tired. So, um, I guess uh, Maris, would you help me with the the bones here? Uh, Yes, of course. All right. Um, um, who did someone try to feed them previously? Oath did. What did you give him? Yeah. Uh it was a. Uh, it was just, an apple. It was just like a oh, was like a, a fake it was, it was like apple, imaginary yeah. apple. I was oh, trying yeah, to think yeah. of like oh, yeah, presentation right. <laughs> as well. Like we tried to give them rations <laughs> at first. So <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah. We tried to give them rations at first and it just like fell through their hands. Right. And right. so like I thought that we could like play pretend and be like, you was know, like Patch imaginary Adams? tea house type or Right. Yeah, it like, was pretend pretend though. Okay, yeah. just checking. Yeah. yeah. Like we had nothing that we could give them. Yeah. He remembers you kind of looks up and smiles. Um and you see as you sort of separate their bones from one another uh carefully, you see the, you know, they haven't been disturbed yet. The sinews are intact, so they don't fall apart, really. You're able to sort of gather them up uh, one body at a time so they're not just a clump of mixed bones. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and as you do so, the apparitions softly fade. 
<sighs> All right. Well, bring those downstairs and lay them to rest in their respective um, sarcophagi. Um, oh, I feel like we should say something. I don't know. Does anyone have any ideas? Uh, goodbye. <laughs> A little quicker than I was <laughs> thinking. Um, more, more in the realm of you know, you know, laying to rest. Um, you know what? <clears throat> I learned a spell <laughs> called ceremony. <laughs> so I'm gonna give them proper funeral rites. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So you place the. Uh, um, that's very nice of you. You place the corpses in their pre-ordained uh, sort of mausoleum tombs. Uh, there was a large stone door that already had their name carved on it, and then these uh, stone coffins, or sarcophagi, really. Assuming you slide the stone over the top of them, both of them, and, uh, you know, it's easy to say the one ceremony for both of them. And you you finish your rites and you hear just a silence dripping of water somewhere in the distance and then you hear a crunch come from behind you you look up behind startled and not so thin as before you see a warmer less frightening apparition of a young boy he's taken a huge bite of an apple juices are running down the side and onto his neck and into his clothes and he's got a huge smile on his face and then you see the arm some arms reach around and wrap around his shoulders and his sister sits there and hugs him tight and says it's okay brother we're okay now and they softly fade again from view. Not into darkness, this time it feels there's a warm feeling as these disappear, replaced by just the slightest bit of comfort rather than coldness. And for well, your actions in doing that, each of your characters, all of you gain inspiration, meaning uh -huh. once per this session, any role you can choose to make with advantage. On D and D Beyond, <laughs> on D and D Beyond, you can click that you have inspiration. Yes, and it, and ah, it, so and it shows it. on the extension. Oh yes, the there only time I will ever get inspiration from this campaign, <laughs> <laughs> considering right. I'm the bard. Use it wisely. Use it, yeah, right. But inspiration and bardic inspiration are separate instances mm -hmm. and can stack. In fact, <laughs> can oh, can cool. they? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have to say, this has been a very scary, but uh, ultimately happy dream. It was very nice meeting you all, and I look forward to never seeing you again. Right, but how are you going to get out? I'm going to wake up. Do you want to slap? Because I can happily... Uh, between the two of us, I think you'd be happy to slap. oblige. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. You have these two armored women looking at you with, like, gauntleted <laughs> hands. They're armored. <laughs> Essie's not. Uh, armored right. of well, spirit. <laughs> maybe maybe I won't do the slap this time, but I am expecting to wake up at any moment. So, mm -hmm. just okay. so you know. Right. Uh, you're aware that we already went to sleep, so if you... It would be a dream inside of a dream. I could do it. Right. Good I read luck this with really that, great love. book once called Inception. Oh, I heard about that one. Yeah, it's really good. I don't do much reading. What's it about? Dreams and dreams and dreams. Mm. Ah, I yes. read a book once. It was green. <laughs> right. Well then. Um, I Does suppose we should. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably try that front door again. See if the mist has dissipated enough for us to leave. Uh, that like would probably be when I wake up. Yeah. Right. Do you want to go sure. first then, Jess Waldo? I think I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and goodbye. 
the manor house looks a bit different. So you're in this very cobweb choked, dusty attic. As you descend through the secret door that led you there into the separate landings on this very stately four storied house, you <laughs> it cannot but cough a bit. The wallpaper's peeling off, the floor is dusty, kicking up all around, and it is much dirtier and much dis more disrepair. There's a tarnish to the banister, which originally was shining under the light of Alimus's spell. Um, no longer gleaming, the portraits seem to be rotted away. This house has changed. Hmm. Right. Looks like something happened. Uh, looks like the Smooth night took a day off. caves go bad very quickly. <laughs> There's probably some sort of magical influence keeping it, I don't know, in the state that it was in. I said snow hmm. magic. Yeah. Well, not, not Magic, magic. I don't know. This is not my area of expertise. <laughs> but well, to the front door, Jeswalda, would you like to lead the way? I, oh, please do. You may follow me. Right. Everyone follow him. Mm -hmm. I confidently open the door and step out of the dream. <sighs> you head that way. Dust kicking up under your feet. The one thing unfaded seems to be the coat of arms with the windmill that you saw before. Paying it no mind, you throw open the door. And it opens to a dark night in a village unfamiliar to you. The mists were sort of entrapping you in this area the first time you came here. It was difficult to see really exactly what you were doing, but now there's still a fog, but the dense shapes looming in it are a bit clearer to you. There are wet cobblestones underfoot and lines of houses going in each direction. Um, just wanted to clarify, um, when you said unfamiliar village, is it it's still the same village that we were in when we came, when we arrived? It is. Okay. You can see more of it now, though. Okay. Just want to make sure I understood you. Thank you. Are there actual people or signs that people have actually been there in the last it Seems to be the, the, the dead of night, but you can go ahead and make a perception check or a survival check if you'd like to look for some other signs of life. Right. Let's see. Which one's better? Perception. I won. That's a six. Nope. Oh. Yeah, no, you're just like, nope, this is the same place. We, we're right back in there. Um, right, right, right. Though well, the, uh, we're uh, fucked. <laughs> passive perceptions of, I believe, both Maris and uh, uh, Elimus will uh, perk up to the distant sound of a squeak, a squeaking sound. <laughs> and a soft little thud going along with it, almost like a wooden wheel being rolled across these cobblestones. Does anyone else hear that? You also hear in a different direction. A... <laughs> Mournful sobbing from another direction. And I was really back. sure. Come on. Can't be out at this hour. Yeah. Voices coming nice from all different parts of the town. This place is certainly inhabited. All right. Um, no. Is there an indication of where, like, the center of town might be? There Ooh, is. We get a map. So, you are on one side of town. Um, there are a number of... Uh, sort of stately tall houses similar to what you were just in most of them are in quite a lot of disrepair in fact you look ar behind you and the house you just left is ruined the roof seems to have caved in in spots the windows are boarded up the iron gate hangs mangled trodden to the ground a few bricks have come loose. 
it's you would be nervous to even go inside for fear of it collapsing that seems to have changed drastically since you entered it the first time mm -hmm. i think i can be forgiven for thinking this is a dream you all realize this is strange right no oh, it's absolutely strange right. well if this is not a dream and this is indeed a town where there is a town there is a bar <laughs> I do like your way of thinking, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I think my impulse is to go find someone to talk to. It's just oh, there are people at bars to talk to. All I kinds mean, of people. Sure. Bartender, bartender always listens to uh, other people's problems. Maris, I, don't... I could really use a drink. Maybe Let's... a room for the night. Yeah. Would be good to rest, get a drink. Maybe that will be when I wake up. <laughs> right. Still Maybe. thinking about it being a dream. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it helps to make me feel not quite so petrified. Scared, really. That makes uh, sense. You're doing great, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Well, let's uh, try to find, I don't know, what's... Sniff out the beer, Jeswaldo. Ah. Very well. I think it is... that way. <laughs> Right. So you guys currently preside on the, what we'll call just for ease's sake, the east end of the town, which is um, over here. And uh, you've gone up a bit of a road. You can tell that it will soon lead out of town. Um, if you're heading into the center of town, you feel like you should continue on the road you are on and then take a right as the that road which is really the one you came on when you were entering, seems to be a bit uh, wider, and there are more um, sort of wagon ruts cut mm. into it, uh, even though it is cobblestone. They are more worn down, smoother. Is there a bar-shaped building anywhere? <laughs> um, if you would like, would you like to continue that direction towards the center of town? Uh, I would. Yeah, I think okay. that I think we'll all have, yeah. Everyone following? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you will notice the town is pretty sleepy at the moment. A uh, few glowing windows, uh, though shuttered. You can see the flickers of firelight from beyond. Um, a few dark, few in ruins. You get about halfway to what you think of the center of town, passing a particularly run-down house, and an awful smell wafts out in your direction, even through the wooden plank of doors. And then you hear a boom, boom, coming from the other side of the door, as if knocking at you. And then again, aggressively. Is somebody trying to knock on the door to come out? I have no idea. Open it and have a look. Uh. Are you going to go have can, a look? Can I cast Thaumaturgy and try to spring the door on open from a safe distance? <laughs> um, yes, you can. All right. <laughs> so Mar uh, Maris is going to cast Thaumaturgy. Okay. See what they can discover. Okay. So uh, you whisper these words and <laughs> the door slams open. And that stench just wafts out at you. It's terrible. It's sweet, almost. Like, there's this sort of sickeningly sweet aroma to it, but mixed with just an, un over an overwhelming amount of putrescence. Almost hurts your eyes. Can you do that Beyond again? it seems to be... And close destroyed. the door. Uh, all right, close it, please. I, I'll step forward and take a quick peek before she does so. Okay. Um, brave woman. Brave, brave woman. <sighs> I follow close behind. I do oh. not. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, we're staying far away from that. No, thank you. you Covering my side, The uh, furniture seems to be partially, mostly rotted away. There seems to be maybe one nice chair that was once that was in the corner. It's tipped over on its side, and you see what looks to be a large rat gnawing at oh. the um, leather. It looks up in your direction defiantly and goes back to its meal, chewing at old leather. Like you hear the creaking of floorboards 
from the upstairs. It's, you know, that uh, But not like rodents of unusual size, Lord. <laughs> no, 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 like... no R-O-U-S is here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, uh, just to make sure I had the right mental image. It's just going to be a whole you bunch he- of Princess Diaries references. You hear just <laughs> right. the faintest sound of a voice coming from what seems to be perhaps a pantry or a uh, sort of back kitchen room. Um, I give a quick look to Maris and shrug and go inside, <laughs> stepping gingerly we, around we the just rack. left the building! I don't... <laughs> Why are you doing uh, this? Why, why? Why? Maris, as is her way, is like, oh my god, and goes <laughs> on ahead. I'm, I'm right behind her. Um, you see, as you start to go that direction, um, you're walking, you see what seems to be the back of a person in very tattered clothing. Um, you can only see just sort of the, the very edge of their back. Um, their head seems to be leaned forward, and you can see um, their elbows are slowly working. It seems like someone's perhaps cooking. Um, you can hear a thump, thump sound occasionally. Thump, as you go, you continue walking. It seems oblivious to the comments of your um, companions. Uh, do you keep approaching to try and get a better look? Yeah, just uh, uh, taking it very slowly. Yeah. yeah, Maris would like to try to engage with the figure in some way. Okay. Uh, how would you like to engage? I mean, so Maris just goes up behind the figure kind of around in front of it Mm -hmm. you you see a a figure hunched over what looks like they're preparing some sort of meal it's hard to see it's they've got it like um almost next to their stomach leaning over this sort of counter area in the corner just working hello i mean you look up in these hollow eyes (gasps) one of them it, it looks in, and an uh, eyeball uh, pops and hangs and oh dangles shit. on its cheek. You can see it, it was clutching a rat, which it seems to have been gnawing on part of its body. Half of it now sits in its hand. It raises a bloody fist and looks at you and lunges towards you. Maris wants to run away. I <laughs> draw my sword. All right. <laughs> You so how do long so. do you think we should wait for them? Right. Well, I, do believe, I, I believe we need to teach them a lesson on uh, mm. not going in inspecting random things without the whole party. So oh, that's uh, very good. Until they start running out in a comically fashioned way, probably. Okay. Um, everyone, we will roll some initiative. <laughs> if you'd like to just drag your uh, tokens. So basically, um, the house isn't any sort of Mm-hmm. Overly complicated terrain, but sure. um, you are not a giant wolf spider, Kyle. <laughs> um, and I, I can't control it either. Uh, he so is the, the one uh, who struggles. Let's put Claire <laughs> and uh, Maris up here. Oh, I roll I was... so good for my initiative, and by so good, I mean it with shite. Oh, I got God. a two. <laughs> two. Uh, I was, I was right behind him, so can probably you, like, just can coming Can you ping in. where you want me again, Peter? Up here. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, let me... I was I was coming in planning to club the rat for a meal later. <laughs> I knew oh, you were. Sorry, I had a feeling you might. <laughs> He's always thinking ahead, you know. Oh. Right, right. That's we'll a good snack for later. Active. We'll never go hungry with him around. Ah, uh, no. You well, might. I won't. Questionable. <laughs> we'll never go hungry. Awesome. Well, right, where's, right, we where's all Sally? are on here. One, two, three, four, there, there. five. <laughs> Six. I'm not yet. I can't do anything. I can't select a token or anything. Yeah. We Please played around too much things. with your beast forms, and now we don't have a regular token. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry that you've got so many, Kyle. <laughs> just, just yeah. more spiders. Oh. Sp- Why is spiders, spiders all the way down. Why can't it just be butterflies? It's like the one spider I've ever liked is Sour right. as a spider. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Sorry of the friendly spider? Yeah. Oh my god, children's How's that, book. Kyle? Can you move that? Yep. Good. All right, so I'm probably spider. just a little ways behind somewhere. Yep. Um, and as soon as this one lets out the, um, lets out this sort of gasp, gurgle, 
at you. The only really way to describe it is a, it's a gasp gurgle. And, uh, <laughs> you see um, the counter or the uh, a cabinet next to it just sort of breaks open and another one falls out prone to the ground <laughs> next to you. Rat okay. or body? Oh, another another body. Oh, um, another gasp gurgler? It's, it's definitely moving though. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely gasp gurgling and moving. <laughs> Uh, it's gurspling. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. Uh, what does that guys... sound? Can we get a, de- can we get a demo? <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. And it's underwater. Delightful. <laughs> oh, nice. Something like that. <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah. So um, first up uh, to react is Maris. Oh, you that have seems a gasp gurgler right next to you that has fallen onto the floor. It's really <laughs> upside down. Um and then one that has just turned around, the one who has just ripped the rat in half and is looking to claw at your friend. Um, quick um, quick question, Peter. We are the same level of preparedness that we left the last encounter, correct? <laughs> uh, yeah. We have not long rested yet. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh... So what, what do we have in way of third level abilities then? Um... So anything that would normally tick up, but similarly anything that would refresh on a long rest, uh, not so much. Um, right. So no, no spells. Right in, right into it. Um, Whatever slots, yeah, that got used, you don't have. Correct. Right. Do I have third level slots? Yeah. Do we have our second level yeah. slots? Uh, well, but not go ahead spells, and take or... your third level yeah. slots. If you gained an ability that is once per day, um, the uplifting energy of setting those children to rest um really bolstered your spirits so um if you gained an ability that you haven't used you can use it we'll put it that way including spell slots i would just like to say that if carl has got third level slots i'm not playing anymore (laughs) oh second level (laughs) sorry (laughs) yeah i was like okay well (laughs) (laughs) well that's why it's the best druid it gets uh Ninth level, level spells slots. by yeah. level nine, so. Sure, 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 oh, sure, sure, sure. okay, casual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that level nine wish. That's, what, <laughs> that's how that works. So you're saying it's broken? Is that what that is? No, yeah. no, fair and balanced. <laughs> Got it. You have a, a awful looking desiccated humanoid creature reaching for your ankles, Maris. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, uh, Maris is casting that cute toll the dead. Okay. She's just jumping right in. Go for it. Uh, that requires a save on the creature's part, correct? Uh, yes. 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 Wisdom save. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, it is not a particularly wise creature, but as All a right. 17, there was a result on the save. Lucky bastard. <laughs> I know. Drat. It's more a wisdom save on its part. It's my job for the corny puns. I award myself inspiration for the <laughs> uh, nice. Well deserved. All right, Maris, anything else? I mean no. <laughs> she's just regretting every decision she's ever made up until Got this it. point, but no. How what does that sound like? Maris regretting every decision in about a quick <laughs> Like in about ninety seconds. Uh, oh, not ninety seconds. Like a couple seconds. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you you hear just well though you hear that sound coming from inside the house well, as well. And also a, a loud bang a, and a, a loud bonging sound, right? Yeah, and bong. a boom ringing out through the area. How is he going in there? You uh, <laughs> you're getting tired of uh, walking around in the stinky air. Hello. <laughs> Some help would be great. Did she say? Did she say she needed help? Right, I think she did. Is that? I'm... Go on. Fine. All I'll, right. I'll go in and check. Fine. <laughs> okay. I regret nothing. <laughs> That's how you live. I know. <laughs> oh! Ah! There's a... Uh... Well, you know. Things. There are stairs to your right. In I front of you, stairs. obviously, are some, uh, well, 
they look like zombies. <laughs> we'll just okay. we'll right. call it call a spade a spade. They look like awful desiccated zombies. So they look like the things that attacked us back at the the other house. A little different. Uh but mm-hmm. it's um it's these look cool. worse for wear like the um they they seem to have pull, be pulling each other with uh, pulling themselves along with a strength but they're even more decayed like the um bones are just hanging on by mere sinews at some point it's, it's uh yeah ah. zombies but grosser so i will continue and move to here and let's see we've the cunning action, I can move again, correct? But then I would. That is correct. You can to... dash with the cunning action. Right. All right. I will do that. I will cunning action dash. So that's six, then one, two, three. And I will attack with my rapier. Okay. This one is on the ground. You have advantage. Excellent. Uh, would that be sneak attack as well, of course? Yes, for the first attack, it would be. I have rolled a 13. 23, as you've got advantage. 20, 23, indeed. 23 yes. with advantage. And I did 12 points of piercing damage. Oh, very nice. You sink it, the, your um, sword. Rapier. You hear, yes, indeed. <laughs> and you hear a couple bones snap. You hear uh, as its posture kind of slides as if you have cut some of the connective tissue holding it together. It has a weird sort of like scoliosis posture going on right oh. now um, and looks <laughs> very unfortunate. And then I will move back to here. Okay. Do you disengage? I do not have to. Oh, you have the uh, swashbuckler feature. That's right. Fancy You're footwork. Right Nifty. And it's pro. Cool. And I would not have been able to disengage anyway because I used my uh, cunning action to dash. It was a trick question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elimus, you are up. Uh, Elimus will walk in. See that they're... Are they zombies, I'm assuming? Looks like it, yeah. Will point his staff at one and say Gelusumnus, and a blue streaking light will right out to hit potentially. Let's see if it actually does. With a twenty-one to hit, yes, for absolutely. Eight will cold hit. damage. Nice. Uh, which one are you attacking? The one on the left. The one on the left. That's yeah. not prone. Correct. That would be a more difficult target. Yeah. Um, you see the blue energy flash across it, impact it. Um, it seems to freeze its joint solid a bit, and then it just it just breaks through it. It seems like it actually just breaks the bones underneath and able to be able to move this frozen shoulder. Um, it's uh, done a bit of damage. So I've helped. You have helped. All right, Te- uh, Essie, you are up. All right. Well, uh, let's see. We're going to go one, two, three, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's good enough. Can you see them from there? I'm guessing this has an open. It's a floor bit of pad. an open floor plan. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> modern. That's... Oh, perfect. <laughs> All right, she's going to walk in, look at the thing, go, dear gods. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, right. It's well, just uh, a zombie sister. Obviously. <laughs> right, well, you know, they sound like a bad prostitute on a first day, so. <laughs> and she's going to cast Vicious Mockery. I don't get it. I say, that's harsh. <laughs> you should get advantage for that. It's a wisdom save, I believe. <laughs> it is. All right. I'm so Do they have to? Is there an intelligence requirement for that? Uh, no, they don't. They just need have... to hear me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, hi. I'm here to mess you. up your game with all the spells that I it take. Kind of. It kind of turns its head to you and 
cocks its head and then seems to like vibrate a little bit and you think you did some damage inside that uh, <laughs> lack of a brain that you can clearly see as it turns its head is that it's like smacked wide open there's not uh, much yes. uh... perfect it takes three points of damage and uh uh disadvantage on its nest attack roll before it makes its the end of its turn next turn nice mm. so next attack roll Woo. sorry <laughs> all right I pull out my club and uh, chew up some, what is it, mistletoe and something else and sure. rub it on it again and I will uh, cast Shillelagh and go hit one of them. Okay. Uh, let's go up on the left. Magic club. So Magic club. All right. Now, uh, that maybe... Oh, that's so an, an that's eight, an eight. <laughs> <laughs> will hit. <laughs> oh yeah, oh. zombies. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, sees you. Wow. It seems to see your blow coming and just kind of looks at you, and it just <laughs> <laughs> smacks across its face. It doesn't even seem to like move out of the way. Wow. Too slow. I, I did not right, stand of Please 12, roll so. a d twenty. Oh great. Right. Well. Explain Nine. to five more. Okay, um, you come down on that shoulder that Elimus has sort of frozen and hitting it in just the perfect spot, um, it breaks off and then starts to twitch next to you. Yeah. These smooth skins are worse than usual. Oh, so that's the arm. That's the arm. Oh, twitching that, arm oh, I don't seems like to that. be right next to you, <laughs> just feeling its way around and contorting next to your foot. Oh, it had a baby! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Look how cute! Right, somebody eat it. Stop so, the that's it for me. Oh, yeah. Speed, so as that happens, um, you guys do hear this creaking sound above your heads. It sounds like there's movement coming from above. I um, think there are more upstairs. Uh, as this one uh, next to you, Sariv, makes a suite of attacks. Does a 13 hit you? Uh, nope. Okay. My scales are too it strong. Goes out for a bite. You just hold out your arm, it bites, but it is not able to. Uh, make any sort of damage through your scales. Um, and then I have a uh, 15 for a claw. Well, luckily, I have a shield, so no. Luckily. How about a 19? That'll do it. So you fend off the blow with its uh, with its right arm as it Im you burst it away with your shield, and then you feel immense pain in your ankle. You look down and the arm that you had just previously knocked off of it is sinking its it's really not even fingertips but just like the sharpened end of the bones under that were previously under skin just begin to sink into your flesh deeper and deeper and deeper. It's a slow thing as it just crushes into you. You take six points of slashing damage. Cool, cool. Ew. This one writes itself looking at you, Maris, and goes uh, forward to bite you with a 16 to hit. That hits. All right. It, the few teeth it have left make it through your armor. You hear what sound like tendons in the jaw snapping, but it still is able to get all the way through. And then two claws come around as it tries to just uh, essentially disembowel you. Um, I have an 18 and then a 13 to hit. Okay, 18 hits, 13 does not. <laughs> okay, so it takes three more points of slashing damage as it, oh. while it's got you sort of there with its mouth, it reaches around and just rakes its fingers across the back of your neck. Ah. And you feel the blood begin to run down your shirt and back. Uh, and you hear, nearing this area over to the right, the sounds of more footsteps. But that is their turn for now. Claire, you are up. Um, I, I'm just going to take a swing at it with my long sword here. Um, 
a 22. Will hit. For uh, seven, uh, seven? <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven slashing damage. Okay. Because I can words. Got it. Go ahead and roll a d20. Okay. Uh, that's that backslash roll, right? Mm-hmm. There's also a little dice roller tool. Two. <laughs> okay. You have a low arcing strike and seem to slice off one of its legs. It stays standing there, but is sort of hopping on one leg as a leg twitches on the ground. Ah. Eh. Um, I'm invincible! Delightful. Basically. Um, I really don't have anything else that's interesting to do here. Um, so I'm just gonna hold my position. <laughs> All right, Maris, you're up. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Maris would like to take her mace and try to hit the one nearest to her, the one who just, you know, tried to disembowel her. She thought that was yeah. pretty Smack rude. A zombie. Yeah. <laughs> We just met. Like, that just seems really, really rude. So, let's see. 16 to hit. You know that an 8 hits, and a 16 will definitely also hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Okie doke. Thirteen. Thirteen. Again, you bring it down over its shoulder. Normally, breaking the collarbone is a great offensive move, but this time, the arm snaps off and lies there, reaching in your direction. Arm, Ugh. fingers twitching and sort of crawling its way to you. Not about Was, it. Did the leg detach itself and become its own? It is, but it's just <laughs> it's mostly just kind of like flopping there. It's okay. not making any aggressive moves towards you. Oh, okay. So we've got like two arms and a leg. Just kind of. Yeah. Wow. We can yeah. Up, we you can make done a whole separate person. zombies. So, yeah, okay. To say. be clear, More. this one next to uh, your lizard folk friend has <laughs> a, a arm that is mobile, a leg that is just hanging out, and then it is got one leg and one arm. This one has two legs and one arm. Will and it one bite arm our ankles that is still off. attacking. Okay, great, great, great. What did you say? Will it bite our ankles off? <laughs> you never know. It's already, well, one already did to Sarif. Oh, golly. <laughs> All right, Back just while the bastard. You can <laughs> burn these shit. These, uh, severed parts attacking your allies. What do you do? I notice these things, I say, a lot that are not seem to be responding to taking the damage the way they should be. And I think there might be more coming. Um, I look down at my uh, booze eye lantern. Do I think that if I were to throw these at the stairs, I could potentially set a fire? Maybe. Although the whole house itself is rather um, old wood. So um, it's hard to gauge where it would spread. Don't set us on fire, please. <laughs> I'm thinking we burn this place down and leave. No guts, no glory. And I do it. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead and just make an improvised attack roll for that. Um, just an unarmed strike? Yep. Well, minus your proficiency bonus, essentially. All right, I'm trying to see where the... Oh, there we go. So this will be... So now this would say uh, plus three to hit. But if it's a thrown weapon, then it's going to be with my dexterity bonus, correct? Correct. So maybe I should use a dart and take away two. That's fine. All right. So I will attack with the dart, and this will be at the minus two. 24. Yeah. So 22. You smash the lantern across these stairs, and yes, the oil pools a bit and begins to catch. The, oil, the uh, stairs are slowly coming alight. All right. Time to go. <laughs> Any other movement? Yes. And All I right. am done. Elimus. Uh, okay, Elimus steps forward to here. Uh, Lindsay's staff up against his chest. 
puts his hands into a position of a fan and starts chanting, chanting, Estuan's Manas, Estuan's Manas. And he's just going to keep chanting that, concentrating until they come down the stairs. And then he's going to let a spell off. Okay, held action. Mm-hmm. All right. And then once he's cast, he's going out the door. If I could do that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that's fine. <clears throat> Um, basically, so using your full movement would be uh, not quite in a reaction, but you can take a step or two out the door. I'll just, yeah, cool. That works. Uh, cool. Uh, all right, Essie. Seeing that Jess Walder has just started torching the place <laughs> um, and we're deciding to make a getaway, uh, she's going to look at the uh, one of the zombies and go, all right, well, uh, you know, normally... Uh, with zombies, I'd be scared that they'd bite me, but with those teeth, uh, I'm more scared that you want me to lick me to death. And uh, she's going to cast Vicious Mockery before she gets the hell out. <laughs> Did the one that she cast Vicious Mockery on before get its disadvantage when it made the attack? It did. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. It was that it first it. bite attack Ooh. that oh. came in at a five, I think, mm-hmm. or something. Yeah. Nice. Or a 13, actually. Second one was a five. So, yeah. So now, of course, it'll be revealed that all the people who are upstairs are actually allies, and we have just killed them. But you have just killed them. No, we yeah. we all did it together. Uh, no, 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 no. You just killed them. <laughs> you set the fire. <laughs> your first blood on you. <laughs> this is your job now to deal with this. Uh, but I am going to need a uh, saving throw. Yes, yeah. I've rolled it. It's a six. Oh, yeah. That... Does that do it? <laughs> it does. So... All right. What's your damage for that? Four. <laughs> this, this is great. Uh, what was it that you... Oh, the, the, the teeth joke. You look at it, it kind of <clears throat> turns its head in your direction. <clears throat> you see a little tooth just <clears throat> clink, fall out, and then <gasps> fall on the ground. And then right. its head just <clears throat> caves in, and it falls to the ground. Well... <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> and you oh, notice no. it seems also the uh, arm stopped twitching as well. Oh, God. Thank God. Right. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and I won. And uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. We take that full movement. <laughs> and that'll Solid. be my turn. Cool. Um. Saurive. Uh, <clears throat> now that that one's gone, he is perfectly fine leaving because there's a fire. So uh, he's going to just double move and also kind of get out here somewhere. Sure. Okay. That'll be it. Noted. Um, this one's still hungry, though. And still has a nice target. So it will reach to bite you again. Does 14 hit you, Maris? Uh, no. Okay. You notice the hand on the ground swipe in your direction. 12, I believe, also does not hit you, correct? Does not, does not. And (laughs) how about a 15? Ooh, yeah. (laughs) Oh, that just makes it through uh, for five points of slashing damage. They always go for the ankles. That's the, that's the, no one, no one looks at the ankles and it just rakes across your, uh, this one though kind of propels itself up, boop, and then just finds purchase and just rakes itself down your shin. Mm. Ah, hurts. <laughs> remember, remember to update the Indie Beyond. That kind of thing. Oh, Claire. Um, I... Fire begins see. to spread over here. Yeah. Um, You're fine. I'm going to... <laughs> oh, you didn't move, Maris. Shit. Oh, nope. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to cast... Oh, that is a beautiful fire feeder. <laughs> um, I'm going to um, try, you know, think back on that... <laughs> energy casting that I managed to do down in the basement um, and remind myself what that feels like, try to coalesce that energy again and send out an Eldritch Blast towards um, the remaining 
zombie. Go for um, it. For 23 to hit. Yes. Uh, Almost five, three times what you need. Five damage. All right. And um, then is it po- um, is it possible for me to use... No, it would probably be an action to drag Maris, wouldn't it? Um, you... She's next anyway. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. she's next. Sorry. I yeah. yeah. Never yeah. mind. You're fine. Um, <laughs> you done your I attacks. love you, but you're fine. Um Thanks, buddy. I'm going to um back up over here. Uh that was 1 2 3 4. Yeah, just just right in front of um our squishy wizard friend. Peter, you done your attacks. Did anything else move upstairs? Um Yes. It did. You heard the creaking grow, and you actually... Oh, good point. They did round the corner. Please don't and tell me. And you will see another figure like this shamber. Nope, it's more things that look like this. One is a little bit of more medium stature, which makes you think maybe children, but uh, half of its jaw is missing, and it's looking at you with hungry eyes, which makes you feel a little less sympathetic towards it. Hungry eyes! My spell <laughs> will go off then. It will, yes. And it was a powerful burning hands. Ooh, Ooh. nice. That's not Fancy. that powerful. Because it only did eight damage. Ooh. That's rough, buddy. Whatever. Yeah. Uh... I mean, it's it's no 16-point fireball rough, but it's pretty oh, rough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was Fire bad. will continue to roar, and this will uh, it doesn't care. increase its, uh, uh, its the rate of burning. Yeah. quite a bit and then he moves out look as he said got it and let's see maris it is your turn all right uh maris is gonna take another swing at the zombie that is nearest her with her mace okay And that is how you kill a zombie. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well done. Um, you take a swing and go across the side of it and knock its head clean off. It, it just breaks cleanly and bounces off the wall and starts to roll in your direction. Ooh. <laughs> Mouth open and rolling like the pin like the uh, finger holes on a bowling ball you can see his teeth coming i'm next. just imagining but as like it a gets tongue too and it gets closer <laughs> and you just stop it and it crushes <laughs> underneath your feet yes uh... the twitching thing next to you <laughs> falls still uh, not moving anymore i forgot to say Peter, you get a deck save against that burning hands sorry dc 14 right. Uh, um, they're really good at deck saves. <laughs> um, I believed you for about a quarter of a how's second. A, uh, how's a negative one? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you passed. <laughs> okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, I have 12, 11, and negative one. So they will all take the full damage. But you do see three figures up there now. I'm kind sorry. of unsure of whether to move forward or what's going on. The hunger seems to override any other instinct, though. Maris, anything else in your turn? Yeah, get out, I would get out, get out. <laughs> like to move towards the door myself. So, um, and it's five feet per square. Yeah, great. Okay, two, three. Oh my god, I'm right next to the fire. Uh, uh, <laughs> is that okay? okay. Yes. As great. you move, you notice one of these timbers above you has begun to catch. Cracks and swings in your direction. Go does ahead she, and make. Does a she only? Series. Does she only have uh, six points of, of, of uh, twenty-five feet of movement? It would cost two to go through me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I have. Correct. Yeah. yeah Limus yeah. is in the doorway, blocking it. Through okay. Me. So what do I need to roll? Sorry. Dexterity saving throw. That doesn't sound good for a dexterity saving. Throw. <laughs> Well, 
Uh, beep, boop, bop. Hold on. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. I rolled. Who just, knows? Just no. <laughs> May, maybe, maybe though, you might feel inspired. Oh, it was a crit know. fail, though. It is a crit fail. Yeah. But can well, you not use inspiration for that? Well, it might not be get her uh, high enough. Well, isn't it just no, advantage? no, 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 no? It's You've got advantage. inspiration. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I thought. I, oh, I was I thinking about it as the other thing. Super yeah. inspired. <laughs> Let's get a roll of on that one. Can I? No, I hope not. Okay. Especially gonna... the way you said it. That's. Uh... <laughs> I feel so inspired. No <laughs> okay. Uh, 11. 11. Yeah, that's better than three. <laughs> yes. Although, <laughs> it's still not quite a. <laughs> no. Quite enough. Damn as it. you think, oh, oh God. it got out of the way, but no, it, it kind of. <laughs> comes no. in contact with the side of your head and you feel um, the embers uh, break off and kind of fall down into your armor. Ooh. Ow, and your head hurts. And you take... Um, let's see. Uh, uh, two points of bludgeoning damage and five points of fire damage. God. <laughs> She's having a rough day. I got you. Just while Thanks, though. Girl. Uh, okay, it's time to go, and I push her out. Okay. Um, Maris, do you consent to being pushed? Uh, the one time I will consent to Jeswaldo touching me, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, Jeswaldo, go ahead and make a, an athletics check. Uh, You're pushing past another person, too. You've got a whole uh, conga line going on here to try and get everyone out of the house. Yeah, does it push me over? Um, if I do not succeed, will I not be able to get out? Um, it's, uh, it's basically whether or not you can get everyone out with a swift motion or if you're going to have to, uh, use a little bit of extra. So, um, all right, I'll tell you what that I will do. I will go out and I will pull her out. Okay. okay. Is that possible? Yes. All right, so. One, two, I come here and may I push him out of the way? <laughs> yes. Uh, Elimus, do you consent to being pushed out of the way like that? He's probably not expecting it. Yeah. Uh, you'll go. I have to go ahead. So this is going to be, this is fun. Um, you are uh, Can <laughs> so I get some interesting sites? ally interactions here. Um, so yeah, uh, Jeswaldo, very sneaky. Uh, go ahead and make a uh, attack versus Elimus's AC to go versus his reaction, essentially. Okay. This is an unarmed attack? Yes, and it's going to be obviously not doing damage or anything, but just to see if you can reach out and make contact with him. Nope! Elimus <laughs> flinches out of your way, and you find yourself right here, the mage looking at you, surprised. Move out of the way! <laughs> I'm stuck here until it's my turn! Get out! Why are you just standing there? Santa Maria! Okay. That's a turn. <laughs> You'll notice it is Elimus' turn next, and he can potentially make some room for you. Yeah, he just hold action I, situation. I am going to hold that action to pull out Maris. Okay. Thanks, buddy. I'll just look at him surprised. Rule bending here a little bit, but that is fine. Elimus. Yeah. I look at him surprised and then just walk out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and try and pull Maris out the door now. <laughs> with an athletics check, just well, though. It's going to be so amazing. I'm saving the day all over the place. God, I hope you get another one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah! A 22 ought to do it. Uh, did you get advantage? I did not take advantage. Uh, there's I? a double click there, then. Oh, man, why does it happen? <laughs> why does it happen? <laughs> You get nine. So it's, a, it's, that's, it's a nine then, not a 22. She's just a bit heavy. <laughs> She's not expecting it. She's not slightly unconscious. <laughs> I've got nothing. Oh, and I'm done. She's very thickly armored. <laughs> Essie, yeah, it's the armor. How dare there's you? There's a comedy of errors <laughs> happening in the doorway of this house ahead of you. Oh, God. She's not unconscious, though, is she? No, no, she's just uh, 
She's like, all Everybody's right, just I'm trying coming. to pull her out. Just heavily armored. I'm it's coming, smoke, I'm the smoke coming. is coming now. She doesn't know who the firefighters are, so sometimes you fight them off. It's just like in, like, drowning in a pool. You fight off the yeah. lifeguard, you know? It's, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> There's it's a lifeguard. Instinct. There's a pool lifeguard? Strange people grabbing at you. I didn't... I don't know. <laughs> oh, is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Uh... Right. I was kind of hoping that by the time I hit my turn, everybody would be out of the freaking house. <laughs> but <laughs> that's not uh, the case. All, all the people Jokes that, on you. Yeah, you know, our healers are inside. Uh, I'm a healer too, thank you. But that's besides the point. Um, right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I'm just going to sit there and watch. You could inspire us. Nah. With a song. No. no. <laughs> Pull out your loot. Just give us some background music. No. Greedy bard. <laughs> she's, just, she's just standing there like... Yeah. Midgey. Right, right. Well, you, Can you smell that you barbecue? You want to go in here. And now it just smells like burning people. I really hope so. our friends are okay. Right. <laughs> They'll be fine. She's in the doorway. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. I'm not. Are you... <laughs> You're behind her in the doorway. I can see oh. you. You can see that they had, they'd almost made it out. It wasn't like it, it wasn't quite so three stooges, but as um, but as Maris got to the door, a beam swung past from uh, above and did clock her in the head, and she was knocked a bit um, sort of disoriented. So somebody like, help me pull her out of the door. Yeah, dude, I'm right there. Um, uh, she's got, my feet. She's got legs. <laughs> she's Sorry, can't like, fine. Um, Sarif is as flabbergasted as his lizard brain can be, and is just sort of watching this nonsense. Okay, that's going on. Like, Sarif, you help. Just get out of Spiders, the they're not flammable. Go. <laughs> uh, he, he's just like standing there with his, like, doesn't really know what to do. <laughs> like, what, what's going yeah. on here? Um, it's getting his salt and pepper out. <laughs> yeah. Oh right. <laughs> his garnish is ready. Um. Uh. Yeah. I'm. I'm not going to do anything. Okay. Pretty sure they'll figure it out. You hear a you creaking sound so as these three helpful. figures begin to take into the fire as they walk down these stairs, which almost immediately collapse under them into a pile of burning timbers. Though the sort of flow of flow of air and ash and sparks only seems to ignite everything that's happening, and the fire spreads further. You see a couple twitching hands crawling their way out from this wreckage. But you think you can get out. But Claire's hand? Or... <laughs> Claire, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw at the start of your turn. Oh, boy. Claire's character's name is Elena, correct? Nope. nope. Elena's name nope. is character's name is Claire. <laughs> My uh... name is Elena. Uh, 12 for that dex saving throw. <laughs> 12 is the number you needed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Maris. I and, right? <laughs> um, though you will still take six points of damage between bludgeoning and fire, as the mm. uh, you're able to mostly duck out of the way of another falling piece of burning wood. All right. Um, I will scoot past my friend here, and then pull her out. Okay. Athletics check for you. Let's try. No, that's acrobatics, not <laughs> not that. Um, I crit <laughs> fail. Oh my god! <laughs> We're gonna lose our cleric to a burning house at level three. <laughs> oh my god! Eris, you are uh, what is known as a uh, heavily armored object. <laughs> I'm heavily armored. Yeah. <laughs> but Claire, don't you have inspiration? No, she's not going to waste on that. <gasps> I mean, oh, you take that back. <laughs> Eris is my best friend. Yeah, you her bitch. best friend. <laughs> I am using that inspiration. Hell yeah! Oh yeah! For Seventeen. Yes. You bastard. <laughs> you see the two best friend worship worshippers of Saloon. That, that was clearly my problem. I wasn't her best friend. That was why I didn't. <laughs> work Tumble out of the door. Clank, clank, clank. Armor rolling across the ground. <laughs> Gesualdo very calmly closes the door. 
and Maris, walks get away. Out. <laughs> it falls <laughs> off its hinges, <laughs> and the fire begins to kick up. Even we were more. never here. <laughs> um. So how how close together are all of the houses around? They're relatively us? close. Um. It's a good question. I looked to Jeswalda. Like, good idea, setting the house on fire. Did uh, we I just set around. the entire town on fire? <laughs> That's right? my question. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Do we I'm, wish I'm to contain know. the fire? Um, I feel as get, though that may be wise. We could let it cook a little bit. Yeah. What's the, just, what's the ground just, like just here? Little. Or, or here we are. It out. is cobblestone. Uh, it is mud. It is typically a very rainy area. There's still a lot of mist around. Can I just cast mold earth at, over and over and start to bury the house? <laughs> it's it's five cubic feet every time I cast it. <laughs> okay. Does it have a limit to how many effects you can have going at the same time? You just I just move it into a pile and then I move another pile up and then another pile up. Do you know what I mean though? Does the cantrip <laughs> specify? Sometimes you can only have a certain amount of instances going. I'm only doing one instance. Right. Well, I just dig a five foot hole and move that dirt next into a pile. I, see. I just keep doing that over and over for like ten minutes. Um, all right. I also have first burn down. Go ahead and make a uh so all right. Here's what we're gonna do. You're doing that. Go ahead and make a um, either like survival or nature check. A, a, a check appropriate to your firefighting abilities. <laughs> um, is anyone else doing anything to mitigate? The if I of this? yeah, if I see um... flickers of flames come off and hit something else, I'll uh, like um, just burst a, uh, a cold ray at it to. Okay. To yeah, I am thank you. Twenty three for that. Got it. Cool. Is there are there any buildings around that look like they might be a little bit more inhabited than the one that we just walked into? Yes, um, you do actually notice um, someone directly across the street from you sort of peeking out of their doorway with wide eyes. This <laughs> building is on fire! Is there someone we can call? It's just what, they it's kind fine. of They kind of look and... Um, it's It's burning! We really should get someone! Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Right. <laughs> While he's doing that, can I use pressure digitation to just start snuffing out the flames? Uh, 13. That could work a bit. Um, 13, someone kind of looks in. They, they kind of look around and... There's so, a there's so well around the side of the building. Oh, that's good to know. They kind of just <laughs> shut the door. It's a weird interaction. <laughs> huh. Um, I'm administering first aid to your your head, Maris. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Anyone else has the would like to do anything for fire mitigation? <laughs> I guess. Oh, there's a cat. <laughs> the cat. <laughs> is is um, there is there in fact a well nearby? Yeah. If you if yeah. you just walk. A couple feet to your left, you will see a well along the side of the building. Who can water bend? Well, well, well. Wait. Wrong story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here. Essie's over here just going, We didn't start the fire. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeswalda will point out the fact that there is a well, and that is about all that he can do. Okay. Are you doing is that with inspiration bucket? or something? Is that why you did it? Huh? Is, mm -hmm. that, is that why Essie did it? To do inspiration? Oh, yeah. Get us inspired. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, you're giving inspiration. I, could tell, I could tell you and Grindy suit each other. Jesus Christ. All right. So uh, would are Claire and uh, Essie or Maris doing anything? Um, I, I'm looking for a bucket. Uh, There's one attached to the string okay. of the well. I'm, I guess well. I'm, I'm going to try to find some water and Okay, yeah, winch it up. Athletics check. Oh, boy. Or if there's another check you feel is appropriate, no, paired with a no, spell that, or anything that like would that, be, winch no. it up real fast. Uh, uh, go ahead and do it with advantage, because just Waldo pointed out what you're doing. Doesn't even okay. matter. 20's more than well enough. Yep. You crank it up really, really fast. It's getting mm -hmm. really hot next to you. You got yeah. some water. Great. I want to go. I want to toss it on what looks to be... Well, is, is there... There's the main blaze... But it yeah. has the fire spread any more like along closer to a wall that's near another? Um... Yeah. So with uh, Sorive's um, survival score, as he's uh, molding earth among the main blaze, he says um, he kind of looks over and says, 
other timbers there. And uh, you, he points out where another little uh, bit of um, basically tinder has started to go up in blaze, and you can okay. sh- yeah. douse that. That's yeah, I'm, go, I'm gonna go spread. on patch patchwork duty. Very good. I'll help with the other, I guess, patchwork duty because press digitation also snuffs out small campfires. Yep, that works. Uh, make it a find me a skill check you feel is appropriate. If you can justify it, it's good. Maris's head is throbbing, so she's going to try her best to be of service. I don't know how effective she's going to be. <laughs> okay, what are you doing uh, for Kind that? of like stumbling after Claire. Uh... <laughs> okay, you, yeah. can help, you could give Oath advantage on whatever check she chooses to try and... That uh... sounds like something she can do. <laughs> sure. Not very helpful, but... Uh... <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking nature. Yeah, go ahead. Make a nature check. That's a 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you notice some of the support beams in the house. One of them is particularly dry and splintered. And um, as uh, Claire has done another bottle of uh, bottle bucket of water (laughs) from the well, you see that one that was about to go up and you're able to douse it. Mm -hmm. Um, All these efforts combined, the smolder dies down, and um, Sorev is able to mold the earth over top of it. The building looks near collapse, but um, you see no more limbs reaching from it. You just smell the smell of smoke. There is no panic, (laughs) aside from the panic you just had yourselves. Um, A few faces seem to peek out of windows around you. And shudder as soon as I you think we've made a great Other impression that, amongst the locals. You seem to have succeeded in um, not starting the great Barovia fire of <laughs> 1882 or whatever. <laughs> I will mean say this I definitely think the smell has improved. It has, but I need a drink. Yes. Second. Until people start leaving, sorry, this just keeps piling more dirt up and like oh, sorry. pulling dirt sorry, from sorry. under the building. Sorry, like, you're not, you're not making holes. a cave. You're not making a cave. Come on. Come on. We're going to get a drink. Fires spread quickly. Uh, We've got it. It's it's done. It's not our problem. Appreciate you, sorry. Who cares if it does? Let's go. It's my training among my people. We live in bamboo and grass. It's fires are bad. That's understandable. Right. The softkins. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um but Smooth. good thinking for that fire, right? Yeah. Mm. Sure. Um, so where where approximately on the map did that take place? So you're place? about halfway between where you were before and the middle. There's a little okay. crossroads here. Looks to lead up into a more residential area. All right. And then further on. So let's make our way over here. Town square area, which is further yeah. to your west. Um, as you make it that way, you see to your left is a larger building. Mm. Um, there's some sparse light coming out. There are heavily <laughs> drawn curtains, though, uh, over the windows. Uh, there's a sign over the door that uh, just creaks back and forth, seeming to sway a bit. And it reads, Bill Drath's Mercantile. What, one more time, right, please. There is, what? The name of that again? Bill Drath's Mercantile. Mercantile, like like merchant, mercantile, like yes. of merchants, fancy merc. mercant, fancy uh, merchants. And then, if you turn to your right, you see there is a sort of a single shaft of light thrusting into this otherwise um, uh, pale, misty night. Warmth coming from beyond. This brightness looks almost like a solid pillar just emanating into this fog. Above the gaping doorway, a sign hangs precariously askew, proclaiming this to be the Blood on the Vine Tavern. Mm. Thank the gods we found something to drink. (laughs) Yes, Jaswaldo makes his way towards the tavern. I think we all follow. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, as he's close behind. For the first time in some time, aside from a bit of spiritual warmth you felt from the... uh, your actions with the uh, setting the children to rest. You feel physical warmth. There is a roaring fire 
and a blazing hearth in the corner of this tavern. It's about 60 feet square. And there are a few people huddled within. Um, you see a man at the bar. You see three women sitting at a table immediately to your left, uh, wearing rather bright clothing. One is a half-elf who has sort of shaved the side of her head and the rest of her platinum blonde hair is sort of folding over the top of her head and falls down over a shoulder. She's wearing by uh, sort of dual colored pants, almost like a jester would wear, um, and a, a silk blouse cinched with a leather belt and a dagger stuck in each side. You also see in a bright green dress, a halfling woman um, sort of standing up on her chair arms folded and sort of seated, leaning against the uh, chair back uh, in a way only a halfling could in a normal human sized chair, silver uh, jewelry draped around her. And then a uh, dwarf, a female dwarf as well. They all kind of eye you a bit suspiciously as you enter. Um, <clears throat> a few other people in muted, typical traveling clothes sit about. And further on, you see a handsome man drinking a glass of wine in the corner. He seems to regard you as you enter closely while sipping his wine. I need a game of cards, a bottle of wine, and a woman. Just Waldo. <laughs> what? I, I, I could just really use a drink. Yep. Ah, yes, a drink for me and my companions then. You know, yes. yeah, I think you might you might owe us a drink. Well, I'll give you as many as I can afford. <laughs> wow, delightful. I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> you see uh you see a smile crack across the face of the um uh the half elf with the platinum hair and the shaved side of her head and she uh she looks in your direction and says well, he is a man who knows what he wants, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, indeed I do. Uh, my name is Gesualdo Tocarembo La Tome uh -huh. del Fuego, Santa Malipa Zacateca de Hotel de Santa Cruz de la Rosa at your service. And I take off my hat and I do a very elaborate bow. I put it back on. Um, Say that you... again. The five oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe later. But um, do you have uh, the honor of being the owner of this establishment? My sisters and I, yes. This is our place. Welcome to the blood and the vine. Excellent. Um, you have me at a disadvantage. Oh, I have everyone at a disadvantage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, uh, as I said, I am Jesualdo. And you would be? <laughs> oh, you're a fun one. He gets yes, cranky Alenka. when people don't introduce themselves properly. Can I get a drink? <laughs> there is uh, a bar right there. You're welcome to buy some drink. I promise we have the best wine in Barovia. There's not much, but uh, uh, we have it all. So uh, there it is. I'm sorry. Um, Bar um, Barovia. That's where we are. Have I heard of that name? Go ahead and name. make a history check. Jeswaldo goes to the bar and buys a round of drinks. For I you. have no idea of this place. Oh, thank God. Okay, what was your roll? Eight. <laughs> Double eight. Eight. Yeah, unfortunately, it just doesn't ring a bell. Must be a really small province off somewhere. Huh. Um, the, uh, the, they will introduce themselves as um, Alenka, the one that spoke to you uh, more flirtatiously. Um, sort of just eyeing you are Marybelle, the halfling, and uh, Sorvika, the dwarf woman. I um, see the moment, people seem to just, the others just ignore you. Um, they are wearing very plain black, gray, brown clothing, keeping to their drinks, not really paying attention to you. Um, the other people just scattered about the tavern. Okay. Um, I um, I approach the group and I ask them, um, so we're all a little new 
to this area. Um, I and frankly, I think we're a little lost. Um, could you, I guess, kind of tell us a little bit more about where we are? Um, lost. Uh, where is it you yeah. come from? Um, now, oh, you have me at the you have me at the disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> um, well, I that one um, is such a peacock, huh? <laughs> um, well, I we all come from different places, um, and uh, what the places? What are you talking about? Um, well. I've actually, frankly, forgotten the city that I come from. I'm a terrible person. I believe you um, said you are from Waterdeep. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, Waterdeep. Yes, thank you. Brain you fart. Um, outside yeah. the mists? Um, we did encounter some mists. Um, traveled through them, huh? Yes, I think. we. Frankly, we all kind of woke up here together. Um, Maris and I, I indicate to the cleric, we're traveling together, and I th think um, those two over there uh, indicate to Elimus and Essie um, were also together originally, um, but we all just showed up here, um, and I think none of us recalled how we arrived. So, like I said, we are a little confused as to what in the heck is going on. <laughs> as this is happening, just while you do go to the bar, we'll get back to this little conversation. Mm -hmm. um, you see the barkeep is a balding man, a bit pudgy. You walk up and he is just staring down at a row of glasses um, on the bar, which he is polishing. Slowly going down the line, polishing one by one. Good evening. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> I would like to buy some wine, I think. Maris. What is... kind of wine do you want? Uh, well, what do you have? We've got the purple grape bash number three and then the purple dragon crush. Just the two. Um... You'll notice he will get to the end, polish the last glass, set it down. Then just go back to the other end, grab a glass, start polishing again. I will take uh, three bottles of each. Three bottles of each. Okay. We'll just turn around and uh, reach under the bar, pull six up. You will see this the uh, silver-haired man. Um, in the corner who has been watching you, the han more handsome young man and nicer clothes than the, the others that are here will kind of uh, uh, raise a finger and say, ah, uh, put uh, half of them, put the good ones on my tab, yes. Uh, and please friend, uh, when you are done with uh, the sisters, um, please come talk to me. Yes. And some food. We need some food. Ah, uh, yes, I can offer some food as well. Thank uh, you. But uh, I would like to talk to you as well. You will notice a uncomfortable glance between the three sisters and this man. Uh, and then uh, there's just a... They hold each other's gaze for a moment before breaking off. And the uh, women begin to <laughs> laugh a bit. It's like, How much do they owe the man for the six bottles of wine? Um, it's on his tab. It's fine. Well, that's uh, very interesting. Okay, thank you. Um, I will take the six bottles of wine and walk back over to the women and the lizard and the other man. And I will say, I'm so sorry. I did not know what you like, so I just got something that I thought I would like. Um... Here's one for you, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Oh, thank God. I, I'm not sure which ones are the better ones, so we'll have to sort of figure it out as we go. But that is very kind of you to get a bottle for all of your friends. 
Well, and for my new friends as well. And I take out a uh, dagger and I knock off the top of one of the bottles and I just start drinking. Uh, well, yes, uh, help yourself first, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, they grab one, she grabs one and pops up and starts to pour, uh, pops the top and starts to pour glasses for all around. Ah, so through the mists, you say? Huh? I, I suppose, although I'm not frankly sure what that means. Well, you are not from here. So you have come through the mists. What country is this? This is Bohovia. From the city of Athkatla, the great country of An. I may have heard of it. Don't think I've ever heard of uh, Barovia, no? Well, there are not many who have. um... Outside the mists, can you believe it, sisters? Look, uh... It may be some kind of omen that you ever come here. Uh, I will not say any more. Um, business is, uh, it is past time for business, but uh, when you get a chance, we have a camp outside where most of our uh, family lives. Come visit us. Our uh, matriarch, Madame Eva, knows much. She can read the signs of the mist. You are a sign of the mist. She can divine your purpose here, perhaps. Plus, uh, it's a much better party than this dire old place, huh? We may own it, but we cannot bring joy. Only wine, apparently. These Barovians are dull sort, huh? Can you tell? Are uh, you not from here? <laughs> myself? I was born here, yes. Years ago? Well, you do not seem Myself. dull to me. <laughs> well, I am not a typical Barovian. I am Vistani. What we are that? different. We leave this life of, well, dour, cowering behind. We live by the light of the fire. We give all to our friends and family. We are one people. We share everything we have. Our life is joy. We are colorful. And we live fast and hard until the day we die. What else can you do in this land, huh? And, well, I will leave it there. It is not appropriate for me to tell all. How do we leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really just did get here, didn't you? Yeah. You cannot leave. Wait. Well. You can't leave ever. Well, she surely doesn't mean ever. I mean, everyone leaves. No, I do, do you mean leave means... town or leave ever. Barovia? Well, there are other towns here, but uh, Barovia? I've never seen one come through the mists before who can who have left they are still here Shit. every one of them so it is told have the have the mists always been here as far as we know as far as we can remember and our stories go but that's enough of that. Uh, let's have a bit of a dance. Uh, who wants to dance? Oh, me. That sounds like an SE uh, point of proficiency. <laughs> Pretty no. much. How no, did I know? Uh, I see who's just been like casually. Like, I like to think she's been silent because she's just been casually drinking everybody's drink. <laughs> like, just you like. Did. You did not get your hands on mine. <laughs> no, I'm like Maris is clutching hers because her head hurts so badly. <laughs> okay, Maris. Dull in the pain. Sorry if it's very confused as to what this bottle of liquid is. Like. Yeah, she, she's pretty much just like downing all of hers and then like she's like, here, I'll help. And then like pops it open and pours her like a generous glass and then pours him some and then just continues on. <laughs> at, at the mention of dancing, she's like, right. Finally, yeah. 
Uh, I can do some dancing. Just while he uh, continues to drink the wine. I get uh, my new book out, pick up food, and have a glass of wine with it. Okay. My new spell book, that is. They um, begin to just sort of sing a song, chant along. The uh, dwarf kind of pounds her fist on the table to keep a rhythm. Um, it's just singing to the songs of voices, but um, their laughter is kind of infectious. Um, <laughs> it's it's very, very, very out of place. And you look as the other patrons seem to finish their drinks a bit more click- quickly and pull hoods up and just try to ignore the revelry that you participate in. What about the uh, the man in the corner? You uh, go ahead and make an insight check. Sixteen. Okay. He looks a little annoyed. Um, he's watching you very uh, intently. He's drinking a glass of wine. He occasionally leans forward and kind of like rubs a brow. Um, yeah, he's. it's almost like he's unsure of what he's just done, maybe, or just looking a bit nervous, but watching you very closely. What are you um, looking at? Yeah, there? I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. I I clap his shoulder. I'm feeling a little bit more generous uh, towards Joe's Waldo after a couple of drinks. Um, hold that thought, friend. Um, I'm going to take one of the bottles um, with my glass, stand up, and walk over to the man and sit down and ask if I can top him off. <laughs> well, I was... Uh... I was wondering where all of that wine I bought went off to. <laughs> Don't worry, Thank we you. know how to share. Um, please, uh, uh, sit down. Uh, what's your name? I'm Claire. How about you? Claire. Um, Eastmark. It's a pleasure to meet you. You and as I, well. Over here, um, is it true you come from outside the mists? Um, as far as we can tell, that seems to be the case. Um, not that we... I, I I don't really entirely understand what that means. Um, but yes, we came from elsewhere, and then we were here, and that's about the gist of it. You're a strange group. If you, uh, no offense, of course. <laughs> um, but I was about to draw my sword when that giant lizard walked in. But, um, <laughs> but the he sisters does turn didn't heads. bat an eye at it. I mean, they must have seen something like that before. I've never seen anything like that. Him, her, her, him? It, him, yes. Him? Okay. And don't yeah. worry, he's immensely friendly. Just oh, a little good. uncertain good. about how things work amongst um, those that he calls smooth skins. Human. Accurate, I suppose? <laughs> Depends on the um, person. You, you look over, he's, more he's got others. the top off the bottle, and he's like <laughs> sniffing it. Hey, that, that's how you do it. Excellent. Good this job. Grape, this grape has gone bad. It's it's not good to drink anymore. Oh, no. It has gone bad, but it is good. <laughs> he just takes the entire bottle and like shoves it in his giant mouth and just starts chugging down. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Uh, well, uh, he's got the hang of it, at least. Sounds like some of my old parties. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make con- constitution saving throw there. <laughs> chugging a whole bottle of wine maris who is start she had kind of like dozed off she's waking up and she realizes that claire isn't by her claire her best friend is not by her (laughs) she sees claire talking to a strange man at a bar she comes over with her little bottle of wine and she's like claire what's going on don't worry it's not it won't be like last time Um, okay claire uh, puts her head on her shoulder uh, oh, please, yeah, join me. Um, oh, Eastmark is my name. Um, uh, Maris. Yes, uh, Eastmark Kolyanovich. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I'd love to talk to the rest of your companions as well. Um, it's a really good thing you've come, I think. Just be careful with those... Be careful with those three. Um, I... <sighs> They're usually fine, but you never know what kind of tricks those kind are going to be up to. Who feels like a game of cards? <laughs> I do. Lay them on me, Jeshwalda. Um, 
Uh, Ismark, I, I'll be totally honest, I'm not sure the crew will be up to serious conversation anytime soon, um, but perhaps we could reconvene in the morning. Um, <sighs> frankly, we've had quite a day, um, and we're all a little quite bit a battered. Um, we could use a little rest before any uh, anything serious uh, leads us on. Although, if you, I'm more than happy to hear about what's going on. Perhaps um, he kind of looks back to the sisters. Uh, perhaps, perhaps in the morning. Then mm -hmm. um, are, you'll still be here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Uh, Good. Right. So, um, around what time? Should we expect you? I'll find you. Okay. That sounds good. good. And uh, thank you again for your generous hospitality, uh, gesturing to the wine. You're welcome. Nice uh, enjoy to it. meet uh, just you. Just be careful, and she might have a concussion. Yes, I, uh, I've <laughs> been anyone, tending to that. <laughs> anyone else, like, really hot? Mar I, I'm going to reach up and gently pat her on the head and um, just channel some uh, healing hands or wh whichever uh, also, that one is. Ismark, you, uh, Ismark, Ismark? Lay on hands. Her peoples go, <laughs> and then even out in the same dilation. <laughs> yeah. You, you, Ismark, you, feel you, a little, you feel a little warm on the whew. temple. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was not feeling like myself. Well, then I'll leave you um, to it. Uh, enjoy yourselves, but be be careful. Yeah. You're well. Thank you. He will stand up. You will see. He will sort of grab from behind his chair what looks to be a long sword. Very nice one. You also see a dagger strapped to his hip. He will throw it around himself and give a curt nod and then head out. Most of the patrons also kind of finish up their drinks. Seems to be getting later in the night if not late um uh, you yeah know. i see that card that you're trying to hide there don't you uh, cheat on you, me what are you talking about it's, you know uh, exactly what i'm talking about pull up your sleeve <laughs> well, they're very large sleeves i, will I take, don't give a damn <laughs> it will take me quite, quite some time to pull them up i have all night you have no idea <laughs> now this is very entertaining uh, <laughs> Use that a game of cards, of course. What are the stakes? Ah, well, I usually play for gold. Gold? Hmm. Okay. Well, perhaps that could be arranged. Well, a simple game of cards, no? Three dragon ante, yes. Oh, I yes. believe it's called. Indeed. Three dragon ante. Here we go. Yeah. Um, are you trying to cheat at all? Uh, no. I am betting five gold. Am I the only one that hasn't got any gold? <laughs> uh, yes, I think so. Oh, that is a bold bet. It is a night for bold action. I am still not convinced that this is not a dream. So, it's dream gold. <laughs> um, not good. Gold. Oh, what the hell? You are very interesting. Let's give it a try. Uh, she will throw down five gold as well. To play I think I will try to cheat, actually. Okay. No, did I say that out loud? No, I meant I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that Ezzy with her wine is just st sitting there with like her feet like propped up on somebody else's chair just like mediating between this being yeah. like you cheated on me so be careful <laughs> She will lean forward over the table and uh, let her hair kind of fall across one eye and she'll say I have never cheated in my life ah, That I don't believe <laughs> I <laughs> the exact same thing could be said about me in exactly the same way. Oh, what are you doing with all these boring people? Huh? You found your true calling with us. Uh, you must come to the camp. Yes. 
Did he camp? I, outside of town, where we live. We don't stay here. It's creaky old and cold. Well, he's... Stani, there is always warmth. A large fire, a companion if you need it. Hmm? Well, that we does sound you? more my speed. <laughs> well, of course, we're going back tonight. But uh, you uh, probably I... should not come with us. Uh, well, you make it yes, sound so you... inviting and then say I cannot come. Oh, are you calling me a tease? I am! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot say I have never teased in my life. All right, Jeswaldo, show me your cards and uh, we will leave the showing of other things for another night, eh? Very well. I will... Ian? Yeah. Do you mind if I insight check? Because I'm, I'm like mediating this game. Do you mind if I like insight check her to see if like she gives off like a weird vibe? Sure, vibe checker. Vibe check. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry if you're fine. You chug that shit down, and he's um he's sitting. That's just fine. He's sitting under a table, like yeah. kind of hunched up, and just repeatedly licking each eye. And looking around, <laughs> lick, lick, just, oh just sort of sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she seems like oh, she's just a flirt. It's oh fine. yeah, she's yeah. Five, uh, con- five insight check. Yeah, this wine is fantastic. Really I've even good pressed the invitation about it <laughs> to to add some spice in there. Just like loving this wine. <laughs> All right, so if I'm cheating, is that sleight of hand? Yes, absolutely. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 25. Oh. Okay, she's probably got like a... You managed to um, uh, simultaneously give a sly look to her as you are stuffing a card up your sleeve at the same time that you are crossing your legs and just barely slip the tip of your boot across her knee. All at the exact same moment. If one could be noticed, there a few of them take precedence over other, and you feel you are quite unnoticed. Very slick. You're proud of yourself for that. Oh, you let me win. Ah. Well, you're just uh, you're just too daring, apparently. So, well, sisters, I think it's time we went back. Uh, Oh, you just Enjoy got started. the lodgings. Uh, you know, please pay for them, of course. Uh, we, but, uh, you know, we... Uh, Wait, so you own this place, but you don't stay here? Well, no. We live with the family back at the camp. Huh. And we could go to the camp. Not I think tonight. they said tomorrow. Jeswaldo, curb your enthusiasm. It is a bit dark. It would be, uh... well, tomorrow. Yes. It's going to be so much more boring when you're gone. Really? Wow. Now you are <laughs> saying that we can't keep you company. I mean, uh, it's going to be. It's. It will. I. Mm, it will. <laughs> I remember I... that the next time you get hurt in battle. <clears throat> it was Alenka, right? Uh, maybe I should go with you all. Is Waldo, I. It's okay. We'll go visit them in the, in, in, in sometime tomorrow. You could um, attempt a persuasion check if you'd like. If it sounds like you really want to, so. Wait, me? Uh, or just Waldo? Just Waldo. Okay. Us. Um, ooh, this is a good question. I wonder how drunk Jeswaldo is. It depends if you're flirting or if you're actually like, please take Fl- with Flirting you. sounds desperate. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I will allow myself to be convinced to not go with these strange, beautiful, and slightly sinister women. So that I can stay here with these strange, sinister, and slightly beautiful women. Wait, hey! No, I got <laughs> I got those. I got those adjectives mixed up. I, let me think. Uh, these, the slightly strange, wholly beautiful, and exceptionally sinister women. 
Oh. <laughs> None of that made it. That any almost suits, worked out okay. in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did I miss that... something, DM? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, so, uh, no, I just mean your your uh, your BS check to the group IRL <laughs> in real life. No, that was that was all intentional. <laughs> For two of your gold pieces, you can book rooms for the night. It is expensive to stay here. Um, that for all sounds... of you. Did so I win five gold? Group? You did. did I, yeah. I, yeah I, I will pay for the, the rooms okay. then. But you got free meals. Um, you guys will level up. You go full level three. <gasps> so get all your stuff yeah. back and whatnot. Dun, dun, dun. Um, we'll bed down for the night. Uh, if you guys wish to do any more RP before uh, the next day and such, we can do that. But first, we... Um, we'll take a quick break to uh, plug in your levels and just take a quick, uh, quick little rest and be back mm -hmm. in ten fifteen minutes. Yeah. Cool. And welcome back. We are at the Blood of the Vine Tavern in Barovia. The three Vistani women, as they have introduced themselves, um, have left for the evening. And the group has left alone after also speaking a bit with Eastmark, the um, silver-haired, friendly gentleman who bought you guys a bunch of wine and food. You have purchased rooms, and there is a now only just a single bartender polishing glasses down the line of the bar. What is your name, friend? Excuse me? Your name? What is it? Oh, um, Arik. Did he say? Did he say Arik? Arik. He, he said. He said Arik. I. I don't think he wants to talk. Just Baldo. I think we should call it. Well, it's kind of the most important thing a bartender can do after giving out the drinks, right? Maybe somebody should show him how. <laughs> Show him how to talk? <laughs> yes! I am gonna leave him to that. I look up. <laughs> I say, Joswada, if you really wish to talk to him, I look to the barkeeper. Please, can you entertain my friend? And you hypnotize and gaze upon him. Oh. But you, nothing happened. You don't see nothing. He just looks and yeah. laughs. Okay. Uh, DC 14. <clears throat> All right. Probably won't work now. Wisdom save? Uh, yes. Um, result of a seven. Yeah. What is the what is the uh, text? How is he? Uh, oh, he's only charmed control? until the end of my next turn. Interesting. So just long it, enough, just long enough to tell a yeah, joke. I want him to sort of like go <laughs> full on friendly. You can you can maintain it as an enchantment. You can though, keep right? it going, but he has to save every time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I think so. Super on. good at this. I'll roll a couple and see how long you've got. I'll, I'll display it on thingy. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, I sort of saw what it said. Okay. Um, when you choose to school, your software is enchanted gaze. So uh, you have. I I just rolled a whole bunch. You have six turns until okay. he just crit succeeded on it with a natural 20. Within five feet, <laughs> that must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or be charmed until the end of your next turn. The charmed creature's speed drops to zero and the creature is incapacitated and visibly oh. dazed. Oh, okay. So he just, you do that and he just. Ah, <laughs> oh, shame I can't flavor that. I mean, I can always charm him, I suppose. I do have a charm spell that I could cast. He's hypnotized at the moment. Yeah, okay. he's sitting there. What is he looking at? Oh, he's even worse than he was before. I do believe you've broken him, just Waldo. Yeah. I mean, he looks Didn't so happy. Didn't even say anything. Him. You've bored well, him like so that. much. Please, my friend, just entertain him, and I cast looks, charm person. He looks okay. Looks happier now, I'd say. With, since he did that, do you want to retcon that action, or do you want to? Well, keep... part of the story, yeah. The second round, he yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's got a four on that wisdom save. Yeah, same same wisdom Charmed. save. Okay. And he is. He looks charmed. to you and says, "Oh, hello." Yes, please entertain my friend. Tell him jokes. Drink with him. Have fun. What? Um, at least, please, let me study. I, Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Um, he gets back to his book. He pours a drink and just throws a glass of wine down. 
Yeah, that's more like it. Um, Do you know any jokes? I know many jokes, but I'm actually more interested in knowing about... I'm supposed to tell you a joke. Will you tell me a joke? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, let's see. Um... You don't know any jokes? <laughs> I, I do. I'm having trouble recalling any at the moment. All, uh, of the, all of the jokes I know are quite vile, actually. Uh, just Walter, do you you really see, you seem into cards? Do, do you want to just play uh, cards? I'll play I'll play cards with you. Well, maybe he could tell us something about this place, hmm? sir. Do you have any information to offer about where we are currently? In the blood of the vine tavern. <laughs> oh, ah, I know what you can tell me. Tell me about these three women who are the owners. Huh? What do they like? What sort of things should I say to impress them if we ever meet again? Impress them? Uh, um, yes, make them like me. Like, make them like me more. I mean, obviously they like me, but... They seem to like you. Just kind yes. of stares blankly into your eyes. Then he goes and reaches and starts polishing glasses again. Oh, this is weird. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ask him um, the you, the town that we're in. You know, the one that Blood of the Vine Barovia. is in. Barovia. Uh, th- th- is the town called Barovia? Like, the, this specific cluster of buildings, residences, businesses. Yes. And the land itself is yeah. also. Do you, are you just going to answer yes to all my questions? No. Are you okay. from here? <laughs> yes. How long have you worked here? He just kind of goes back to cleaning glasses, kind of shakes his head. And... Ignores that question. Cool. Mm. Gets done yeah. and starts over. <laughs> no glasses. He's a fascinating guy, this one. Maris, how's your head feeling? Uh, my head is doing better. Thank you. Better? Okay. Mm-hmm. You still probably shouldn't stay up much later. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, we'll turn in. Hmm. Off to bed with you. <laughs> you can't just send me <laughs> off to bed. Yes, Maris is her own woman. <laughs> yes, mom. <laughs> yeah, come on, mom. Maris All resents right. that, so she stays put. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. All right, this Maris, man is a very poor conversation. Would you like to have a drinking competition with me? Please, please, Maris, forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll see. Who did you challenge to a drinking competition? You, darling. Oh, let's do it! <laughs> Maris is still a little not herself. <laughs> yeah, see, she she always yells at me when I drink, so... <laughs> no, it's okay. Let's it's okay. It's okay. do it! Right, darling. All right, so... You guys are also the only ones in the tavern right now, just so you know. Perfect, like, that seems perfect, really, really perfect. on brand for Maris. So. So, yeah. Maris, what uh, type of drunk are you? Are you happy? Are you an aggressive? Are you a loud drunk? Let's uh, do it! <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, <Woo>! right, Maris. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Maris this... is a woo girl. <laughs> Maris, this is what's going to happen. And I'm placing four wine glasses... Mm-hmm. In front of her, mm. completely filling them up. Okay. Oh. First, what you have to do is you have to think how many can you drink? Do I tell you how many I can drink? Yes. Mm. You know, I'm going to go four. I'm going to say four. There's four in front of me. I'm going to go four. All right. Now, if you can drink all four, then you get five gold. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. All right, honey, drink up. And then, and then I cast <laughs> sleep on her. Damn it, Jane! That's what I was gonna do. Oh, that was. 
How many hit points do you have left, Maris? <laughs> nine. Shit, like nine? <laughs> <laughs> Can you feel that? I did it. Uh, I don't know, um, actually. He does it as a joke, but... Like, uh, I was going to get her drunk enough to be able to, like, to take disadvantage against it, 20. and then I was going to cast sleep on her. <laughs> 20 points. Yeah. Sorry, Maris, you're out cold. No sense. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step in and say, uh, cute trick. You don't get your gold, though. Um, and I'm gonna... <laughs> it was me going to give her the gold, thank you, and I dealt with your problem. Go put her to bed. <laughs> I'll just, I'll knock your shoulder gently, and, uh, I'll just, I'll just, I'm just gonna, like, <laughs> Mary, she fell just asleep. Just fireman carry, that's the theme of the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the, theme of the episode, it's firemen. <laughs> You're obviously tired. Please go to bed. I'll yeah, smoke I'm, I'm as gonna, I get back to I'm my book. I'm gonna bring Maris upstairs and put her to bed. <laughs> okay. You hear that? You hear a sound that you've heard before as you guys are getting ready to go. That sort of clicking sound and the curly creaking of a wheel and a clicking against cobblestone. And you can see a, a the face of an old woman sort of peek her. Um, head around into the tavern and say, oh my, up so late. Is anyone hungry? Sorry if Stan's up. <laughs> we had food, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. uh, he's been just, he's been under the table um, figuring out what drunkenness means. Yeah. Licking his eyeballs. Yeah. You know, Based on the point, kind so. of day that we've been having, I think I'm going to say yes. <laughs> we are all hungry. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm already up the stairs, dragging okay. there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Depends. Wow. Hey, come over here, well, oh, handsome man. Jesualdo tocarembo la tomba del fuego, Santa Melipa sacatoca de seta de de la rosa. Quite a mouthful. At your service. Uh, and I'm really sorry. A mouthful. Sorry, fool. I'm a Morgantha. Um, and she's this kind of hunched over woman. Um, the skin almost like papery. She looks very, very old. Her fingers are sort of spindly, swollen knuckles on each hand. Um, as she makes her motion, she's pushing this cart. And from it is just wafting this delicious smell um it's hard to place exactly what it is but baked goods certainly and they smell amazing well would you like one of my baked pies yes oh good good um she pulls one she kind of pulls a cloth aside and a spindly hand reaches out with a you know baked pie uh, like a, a single pie, you know, over in your direction, Sarif. It will be one gold piece. I promise it's worth it. I, um, <clears throat> you see him, so I pull out a, a, a bag that jingles a bit, and I kind of like, I'm, I'm holding it, and I look over to Jiswaldo, and I uh, pour five gold and nine silver onto my hand, and I'm like, Please pay her. And I hold it out <laughs> to Jesualdo. I don't know. What... <laughs> you never have used money before. My tribe collected some and I received it upon my departure. All right. Well, from now on, I will hold any money that you receive. Uh, no, no. I will take, no, I will take care no, of it. No, you, you are I not. I am going to do this out of the goodness of my heart. You're going to do it so you can bet things. And maybe I can turn a little gold into a lot. And I no, pay... you can turn a little bit of your gold into a lot. You're I not turn... using his. I pay the woman one gold piece. Okay. She will hand over a steaming hot fresh pie. What is in this pie? It smells amazing. <laughs> oh, well, we've got lots of pies. This one's a nice meat and potato. Nice and hearty. Meat. <sighs> what kind of meat? Oh, you know, Barofia is an interesting land. We cook all sorts of things into pies. Oh, rabbits, we hunt deer, we hunt um, 
Well, uh, the funny thing is, a wolf. Have you ever had a wolf before? It's a strange thing. You wouldn't think it'd be very good, but it's delicious. Have you ever had wolf before? I may have. I don't know. Do I recognize the taste as I just start chowing down? Um, it's it's quite heavily spiced, and it tastes amazing. Um, yeah, it's really good, even for lizard folk used to different types of uh, food. So, yeah, I carefully watch Sorry if to see. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes crazy and chokes it down. Anyone else would like one? Right. You said that she has pastries? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just like just does she have any like plain pastries? Oh, this one's more basic. Yes. It's like a little bit of um, it's a little popover. It's mostly bread based with a little oil and some special ingredients. Right. Sure, I'll buy one of those. Okay, she hands it over to you. For one gold piece, please. Right. And, uh, gonna hand over one gold piece and, okay. um, take, I'm not gonna eat it, but I'm gonna, like, take, like, a cloth from my bag and, like, or I guess paper, because I have paper, and, like, fold it up and, like, st- store it in my bag for later. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, you're quite welcome. Anyone else? Um, I'm going to clump back down the stairs. What's the barman said when this hag walked in? He's just he's polishing glasses over and okay. over and over, not paying any attention. I'm also not paying any attention. His head's okay. deep in a book. Y'all good down here? Ah, I just remembered that joke I know. <laughs> so, what is it? the joke? Ah, very good. What is the difference between a poorly dressed man on a unicycle and a well dressed man on a bicycle? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand the joke. Well, you will in a second. The answer is. A tire. <laughs> it is not a good you joke. Don't no. Right, you're drunk. I am. Right. Maybe we should all just wrap it up and take a rest for the night. Let's wrap it up. No more pastries, then. Or, do you have anything for sale other than pastries? No. Just baked things. That's what I do. I would like I another say, meat pie. Well, no, no, it, 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 it is, is odd that you are up. You, you remark on how late it is that we are staying up. And you are also, do you have much business at this time of night? In, in the, uh, what is it? In the Barovia. Isn't that where we are? It, uh, well, you should probably be finding your way to bed soon. Um, she points to the lizard folk. Um, they help everyone sleep. It can be awfully hard to sleep here. These are um, a comfort to many in this dark place. Do you put something in them to help people sleep? It's an old family secret. Mm. A bit of magic. Oh, what sort of magic? Alimus? Oh. Alimus is, will look up over his book when he hears the whole magic. She will meet your gaze as soon as you look up, and she will kind of smile. Well, then it wouldn't be a family secret. And they wouldn't be worth one gold each if everyone knew how to do it. Jeswaldo, another one, please. Uh, Elimus, um, can you sense anything um, on these pies? Sorry, go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> okay. Uh... Can save. That's a 15. You notice your lizard folk begin to stagger and then sort of slump over unconscious. Oh. 
Go ahead and roll a d4 also. I am thinking that this pie has some interesting ingredients. I immediately run over and check on Sauruv. He is drooling. Uh, Very stable. Just unconscious in a deep dream state. Huh. As he's going to buy two more pastries. Okay. Two more gold? Yep. Two more gold. All right. Where does she put the gold when she gets it? Oh, she has a little pouch at her side. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Um. I I I asked Elimus. Um. Can you sense anything on these pies? I will need some time hmm. and a pie to study. I'm well, sorry. As, I think as they're as getting a bit nothing. cold. I have a few more stops to make, and it's awfully late. Um, uh, so do you um, do you come around here often? Oh, well, sure. Every few nights or so. Oh, okay. Do, uh, do you have, like, a shop or something, or do you just sell out of your, uh, your cart? Mm, just keep an eye out. I'll be around. All right. I'm so and, tempted uh... to pick her pocket. You have such beautiful hair, by the way. Did you know that? Me? Yeah. Oh, um, I mean, it's nice. Does the job. Oh, no, you're too modest. It is quite beautiful. Could I, could I touch it just a bit? I'm I, sorry. I, I step back and, um, I'm a little, sorry. Uh, I don't really do oh. stranger touching. Sorry, I, you're really nice. Um, it's been, it's just, you know, I have these daughters that, well, they're so mean to me now. I, but, um, just remind me of them a bit and, uh, don't worry about it, dear. You'll understand. It's all right. Uh, you have some people troubling you. No, nothing like that. Nothing like that. Um, but I should be on my way. All right. Uh, uh, um, have a good night, ma'am. You as well. Are you sure you don't need any more? Uh, I'm okay. Do I think I'll be able to sleep without one? As he's going to buy two more just in case. Okay. <laughs> You're on five. <laughs> you have four yeah, pies. Yeah, I am. Uh, one of which Sarif has eaten and passed out with. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to gently pick up the lizard man and bring him upstairs. Okay. He's not very heavy. <laughs> okay. Um, cool. God, I never play mom. This is weird. She Once the old lady's gone, along. yeah. I'll call Essie over. Please let me have a look at one of those pies. Oh, I was pastry already thinking about it, Eli. Here, and she's gonna give one of the five pies, or like the pastries that she has, to um, Eli. Okay. I'll put it on the table. Start sprinkling sort of like uh, some dust around it, and you'll hear the words "magicia deprehendere." The hasty and it just keeps uh, repeating that for about 10 minutes. Don't right. actually, if you can, just don't actually put anything in them. I figure they might be useful if we ever have to drug somebody. He's ignoring that while he's doing his spell. What's he mm. like? All right. Good uh, night. Yeah, I'm going to turn in. Does anyone else eat one before going to bed? No. no. Just Waldo only drinks. I'm still down there for about 10 effective. minutes, so... Yep. Uh, your spell will go off. You will detect um, a faint aura of enchantment magic coming from them. Okay. Though it is not uh, tied to a particular spell that you can recognize. Okay. Nothing sort of malicious to it, or...? Well, it's... I mean, I don't think detect magic would necessarily sense, you know whether no. the source of it you, you detect the school of enchantment magic emanating from it so how strong the uses of it are uh it's i mean it's definitely it's slight but it is um it's not something that would you know chain someone into unconsciousness for a long period of time i mean well perhaps overnight 
like a strong dose of yeah. like a sleeping enchantment or something like that. There's something beyond just simple sleep, though. Um, mm -hmm. It's unfamiliar to you. There are. Um... Go ahead and make an Arcana check. Uh, I've got a herbalism kit, so I could start breaking it down and having a look. Okay. Maybe I don't know if that would work. Yeah, Arcana. go ahead as part of your detect magic. Oh, seven. Unless I get advantage. Those, um, well, so the detect magic, so the, the herbs themselves, it's hard to recognize, um, these different spices, as far as you can tell, it looks like little bits of leaves. It doesn't seem to be, it seems to be just a baked good. There's not any sort of, um, alchemical nature to this that you can tell. There is a nature of enchantment though, and of, um magic certainly something similar to the sleep spell that you cast there's something beyond it though the hint of illusion magic as well um tied together um what have i got a pastry or a meat pie meat pie i'm gonna examine uh, the meat oh is it okay. Oh, okay go ahead and make a nature check if you're doing so mm-hmm 22. Stringy. Um, very tender. I want to know um, if it's human meat. Have you seen cooked human meat before? Every day. No. <laughs> so, it's a hard thing to determine. It is a mincemeat pie. These mm. are, it's finely ground meat. But when you kind of piece at it and look at it and think about other meat you've had, just the, you get this shiver up your spine. Like it could be maybe you can't rule it out. And that's very troublesome. Hmm. You also know that though, you know, an old tome you read regarding cannibalism, certain cultures that uh, human meat was typically tough. Um, this is much softer than you would expect human meat to be, more tender. Okay. I will try Sorry, to sleep on it. Yeah. yeah, you have dreams of the most beautiful swamp. You have dammed up a river in the perfect spot. You have placed pikes on the perimeter. And every day, bucks impale themselves trying to jump over and get over. <laughs> and all you need do is haul their corpses from the spikes and feast. The younglings swim in water, just the perfect amount of murky. <laughs> They call delightful. you the chief for finding this space. A waterfall roars in the distance while your three mates <laughs> tend to your every need. Their eggs perched about them, ready to hatch into powerful little warriors. It is the best place you've ever been. <laughs> Great. You are making a home for your family again. And then you wake up. No! <laughs> and then everyone wakes up. And I'll uh... leave it to you to determine in what state. Because I think that's a little different for everyone. Jaswalda did not make it to bed. Oh. He passed out on the table. Oh, boy. <laughs> My question is, is, did we get two rooms... So the girls could sleep in one and the guys could sleep in one or do we all just get separate rooms? Yeah. That's what, up to you guys. Um, I mean, I... My approach would have been what's the fewest number of rooms that we can do this in, so I probably would have yeah. been like, okay. I was thinking okay. three gold, three three pieces or whatever, the three rooms. Well, three I was gold. thinking like the three women were all sitting there waiting for just Wilder to come to bed and obviously he missed out. <laughs> because he was so drunk 
and then eventually they fell asleep, mm-hmm. bored. Uh, uh, maybe right. they that, never. For that, I, I'm, I'm, the, wrong, there and I'm the one the narrating people's, people's dreams, oh, guys. Sorry, is this, the wrong, <laughs> is this the wrong fantasy setting? Is it? Sorry. Uh, this remember. Waldo has learned long, a time, long ago not to get involved with any woman he's adventuring with. Any woman who could potentially stab him in the back is not someone to get involved with. Just any woman in general, then. Or stab you in the front. Or stab you in the front, or not heal, or not heal you when you need to be healed. It is just good policy. Not yeah, that could happen, right? It does, especially when the only people who are capable of healing you are, are the women. That's right. All romances. Yeah. Just Waldo is just Waldo is an NPC romancer. That is. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the morning, I'm gonna come downstairs with. Uh, I mean, I. I didn't drink terribly much last night, so I feel I feel just fine. And uh, gonna walk over to where Jiswaldo is slumped over a table. I uh, give him a nice resounding thwack on the back. Um, and wake him up. Ow. Water now. Mm. There, there once, there like once a- was a man from Barovia. <laughs> Whose limericks never rhymed. And Wasn't they, there? Okay. They were also too short. <laughs> right. Well, good morning. I hope everyone doesn't feel like shit like he does. Mm. Doing all right. At this point, Maris, you can hear her before you see her clotting down the stairs. <laughs> what it? She is very embarrassed um because she's got like that vague sense of like oh no i did something really embarrassing and so she goes and sidles up to claire um claire what what happened last night oh darling 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 um yeah she just sits with her head in her head Mm -hmm. yeah pat you on the head water (laughs) Barkeep, <laughs> a water, <laughs> a water, please. If you don't, mind. a water, please. Uh, I um, you will see the same guy from before, just kind of returning again, and you know he will go out to uh, what seems to be a well and just kind of put a bucket of water down on the bar. Does coffee exist in this world? Because if it doesn't, I'm leaving right now. <laughs> Game over. Um, you will be able to find a type of tea if you would like. Mm, I will take your strongest tea. Make that too. <sighs> I'll come walk you down the stairs. Bright as rain. And she's probably got like her feet up on the table. Just like leaning back. Yeah. It's not soon after that the door to the tavern will swing open and you will see uh, the silver-haired man from before. Ah, and... this Mark. Welcome. It's nice to see you again. Yes, um, I trust you sleep well. He kind of looks <laughs> between you guys. Right. Who are you? Um, I... My we name met him is last Cismak. night. Um, you guys want to look, get a little portrait oh, of him on the map. handsome. Sorry if has not shown up yet. Huh. Yes, um, very good to meet all of you. Uh, Ismark Kolyanovich is my name. Um, Ismark, if you give me a moment, I'll go find our lizard folk friend, since you were intent on speaking with all of us. The one, it's a a male, right? Yeah. Yes, I... Right right back. That Um, name, did we read anything about that name in the house? mm Mm-mm. You did not? No. No. We heard about someone else. Right. The Thornbolts. No, yeah. that was it. Durst. Yes. Durst was the family name in that house. Um, um Yeah, uh sorry. I'm gonna come try to wake you up. Uh when you open the door he's curled up just on the floor and like wrapped up around himself. Mm. Um and then just one eye opens. I wish to remain. I've been granted a vision. Be that as it may, 
Uh, your presence is requested downstairs. Mm. Fine. I must find the old lady again, though. Mm. Oh. Did you dream nicely? Yes. Interesting. I believe my, uh, mm, the goal of my quest is at hand. I see. Interesting. Um, well, let's head on downstairs. We've got someone who wants to talk to us. I'll get up and follow her. Oh, right. yes. Uh, hello. And he will kind of like bow in your direction and then be like, no, it's going to be stupid. <laughs> right. Hi. Um, right have, have I met all of you? No. Um, you, uh, mage? Yes. I'm not his head. To greet the lizard, you must lick your own eyeballs. He's we all had to Eli, do it. please. He looks confused please. for a second and then. Eli, no, it's too early. Eli in the doesn't even for smile. That. He just like looks completely serious. Okay. Right. Please um, excuse my brother. He's a bit of a jokester, apparently. Right. Good. Um, that's a unique quality here. Um, but so you all are from outside the mists we've established that yes mm, seems so right yes i um you all look very capable and i am sorry for being so upfront but i desperately need your help what seems to be the problem my sister is gravely in danger I I need to get her out of this town. Right. I need to get her away from Barovia, the village of Barovia. Where is she now? She's at our house. She's at the manor. All right. Will you will you take her away from here? Um that's all what's... I ask. Just another one of the villages here anywhere what what's the nature of the danger he kind of looks up over his shoulder in just the direction so just kind of the general directions she's been visited by something evil the past two nights i'm just thankful she survived the second one uh, when the first one happened the night before I didn't know it would repeat but something's after her the... alright do you know what? it's the devil the devil. it's that devil Strahd Strahd who's he? We've seen that name. Oh, that was in the you letter. You have. Right. The letter that um, that he's, he sent to the letter to Durst, didn't he? Indeed, to Gustav Durst. Um, where he was telling him that to not worship him, right? Yep. It seemed this whole cult was worshipping Strahd beneath that house. Okay. Interesting. Is he, uh... Um... It's, it's a clear morning. Go. Come with me. He gestures to come outside of the inn. Do you all follow? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Going out, you see a very overcast sky. You're expecting bright light of sunlight that will only, um, you know, exacerbate your lack of sleep and hangovers for some of you. But he opens out into a very diffuse light. The mists have faded somewhat. There's still just a dull fog that hangs in the air. Not nearly as pervasive as you saw before. And he points up in a direction you assume is the um, northwest. And atop a craggy outcropping. Maybe half a mile away and thousands of feet up. You see an enormous castle looming against the sky. Is... Is that master where... of these lands? Oh, is that where Strahd is? 
Yes. He's a devil. He's a demon. He haunts this land. And this village in particular, it lives in its shadow. Look at it. Look around. My family has tried to protect it for so long. God, I have to do the same now that my father is gone, but... But she doesn't need to be here. She doesn't deserve what's happening to her. Not this way. Right. I, please, I beg of you, take her away. Um. Will, will you come to my house and at least meet with her and we can talk further about this? I, I was going to say, let's at least hear what she has to say. Is Are we all okay with that? Yeah. All right. What's happening? We're gonna go save a woman right up your alley. Let's... <laughs> but don't actually touch her. Yeah. Um, it seems like two contradictory things. <laughs> Please, um, Eastmark, uh, lead the way. Okay. You will follow uh, down a bit of a road. You will. There's a familiar sound coming from a house sort of around the corner, um, if you can see here to your left, just a few houses down from the inn, there's a sobbing sound coming from a particular house. <laughs> Echoes um... from an upper window. This East Mark just sort of keeps going without acknowledging it. I want to ask him about that. I think maybe we have walked into enough strange houses for the time being. I'm not going to walk into another strange house. He'll look back. Worry. Oh, um, that's that's Mad Mary. Uh, sorry, that's that's Mary. Uh, she, her daughter was lost some time ago. Um, a month or so. Lost as God, it's been dead? A we don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe she wandered off into the woods and the wolves got her. And we haven't been able to find any trace of her. Interesting. She hasn't been the same ever since. But, That's um, fair. We do what we can. We leave her food. We check on her occasionally. But she's like this most of the day. Come, yeah. please. Let's continue. Okay. And you go down to the end of the road in which there is a stately manor. It's a weary looking mansion that squats behind a rusty iron fence. The iron gates are twisted and torn. The right gate is cast aside while the left swings lazily in the wind. The stuttering squeal and clang of the gate repeats with this mindless precision. Weeds choke the grounds and press with menace upon the house itself. Yet the walls, the growth has been, or yet against the walls, the growth has been tramped down to create paths all about this. Little paths are on these overgrown plants. There are heavy claw markings that have stripped the once beautiful finish off the exterior walls. Great black marks tell of fires that have been set against it. Not a pane nor shard of glass stands in any window, and all the windows are barred with planks, each one marking marked with stains of an evil omen. Hmm. Interesting. You said this was your manor? Yes. It has seen better times. As I said, things are dire here. Evidently. Um, you said Please. your father died. Uh, yes. Is that recent? Just the night before last, yes. The night before the first time she was visited. Um, okay. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. How did he, he die? a great man. <sighs> Exhaustion. Right. He so, just didn't wake up that morning. It was hard on all of us. Every night hearing those creatures outside, clawing at the very walls. 
creatures setting. outside. Yes. And she's What's... only been visited since after your father's death. Yes. It seems so. Was he some sort of protector? Has been... I'm wondering if there's a connection. Oh, I mean, he was the burgomaster, the, the, the leader of the town. That position is mine now, but I <clears throat> seems to have not afforded her any protection. <sighs> he kind of tugs at the leather strap holding his sword and then grips the grip of it and then let's go. So, I've trained to fight all my life, but there's, I don't have a foe in front of me to strike. I can't fight off a pack of wolves or those other creatures that come clawing at the side. What am I supposed to do? Hmm. Uh, please, come inside. Alright. And he will um, go up and knock at the door. You'll hear a woman's voice come from inside. Who is it? Who's there? Like, Irena? Irina, it's me. Oh, sorry, brother. Um, you hear it. A couple, probably three locks. Undone. And the door swings open. There to meet you is a woman wearing a breastplate, which seems ornate, seems to be rather not very well fitted to her as well. One strap is kind of hanging open a bit on the shoulder. Um, and uh, underneath is a, um, a dress with a high collar and long sleeves. He smarts, oh God, sister. And he goes up and tightens the strap up on the shoulder to kind of fix the way this breastplate is strapped to her. Ah, we have guests. You notice a dark circles under her eyes. She has slightly dusky features, but the most striking one is long flowing auburn hair that tumbles down to her waist. She rubs her neck a bit as if she slept so terribly the last few nights and looks at you all. Smock, aren't you going to invite our guests in? Um, hello, all of you. Please come in. Um. And they welcome you inside the building. Yeah, walk we'll in. Okay. Uh, how do you do? Uh, pleased to meet you. I'm I am Irina. Jesualdo. Tocar embola tombe del fuego, Santa Maliba Zacateca, the hotte de Sare Cruz de la Rosa, at your service. <laughs> that's uh, that's quite a name. Uh, it very is very impressive. Ah, thank uh, you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, have we met before? You seem awfully familiar. Uh, somehow. You will forgive me if I don't quite remember, but um, Ir Irina Koliana is my name. You've met my brother, Ismark. Um, please, uh, sit down. Can I get you anything to drink? Uh, just want to check there. That was a different name than he gave us. His Ismark, his last name had a Vich at the end of it. Uh, Kolyanovich. Yes. Yeah. Did she say Kolyanovich? Kolyana. Kolyana. Ah. Mm -hmm. We'll follow her inside. Um... I'm I'm okay as far as drinks go. Um, we hear that there's um, or that you've been attacked. Um, uh, of she kind of rubs her neck again. Um, as you guys sort of start to enter this building, too, you notice that it is very well furnished, though um, the fixtures against the walls do sh so show signs of wear. Um, there are some oddities about this place. It's got a center, it's got kind of that uh, great room style thing with a balcony around the entryway and a beautiful staircase leading up, splitting in the middle and going to either side. Um, as you step in, you see there's a nice chandelier hanging with maybe half of the candles lit. And to your right, 
um, you almost do a double take. There seems to be um, this a drawing room with a table, a long table, but on top of it is a crudely constructed wooden box with flowers tossed all around it. Um, Elimus is actually going to start doing a ritual for detect magic again. Um, he's going to okay. look once that's cast. He wants to look if there's any sort of like residue of any protection magic that was spent here. Obviously, if he picks sure. anything else up, but um, thinking more alongside me. of his father. What are you? What are you doing? Um, what What is he doing? Um, is that the same ritual that he's cast before? Like, do we rec? Do are we starting to recognize that one? Me. What is? I don't. What is that? Has he? Right. Sorry. Uh, so what he's doing is trying to make sure that any of your uninvited guests who have tapped you within the uh, last couple of visits didn't leave anything magical or anything like that behind that they can uh, track you with or uh, be able to spy on you with. Uh, it's just a precaution. Well, he could have asked first. That's not very polite. I know my brother's a bit of a, um, to be honest, he's got a bit of a stick up his arse. Uh, so I, I apologize. Um, but he, um, I, I do apologize. That's Eli. Uh, I'm Essie. Uh, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for inviting us into your home. And Essie's just going to slightly kick her brother. <laughs> As he's um, working on this, pays no attention. Yeah, I know he doesn't. I I introduce myself. My name is Claire. My friend Maris here, um, and uh, the scaled individual over here. This is uh, Sauriv. Um, I please, if if you would, um, it would help to for us to know a little more about what you've experienced these past couple of days. Well, she kind of looks to her brother and he nods. She undoes a bit of the lace around her neck and peels the edge of her red dress down. And you see, sure enough, four singular pierce marks on her neck. Oh my. I've been sleepwalking a bit. Right. Um, it seems to be a bit more serious than that. Yeah. So my brother says, "What? What? Are you here to protect the home? Are you here to what? What are you here to do?" I look at Eastmark. Um, have you not talked to her about what you talked to us about? What? What did he ask you to do? Uh, yes, you're... just to take you away. Yes. She she wheels towards him and kind of come gets up almost in his face. I told you, I won't go anywhere until we've buried father in the ground, in the sanctified ground. Not before that. You just do that now. Do what you want with me. I don't care, but I will not leave until we put our father in the church cemetery. Do you understand? I told you before. She kind of wheels about and goes off into the kitchen area. Uh, can I follow her? He, sure. He kind of crosses his arms and leans against the wall and sighs. I <sighs> will approach him, uh, trusting Essie to sure. calm the sister. Um, That's your father's body on the table? Yes. Huh. Is... We had to make the coffin ourselves out of our furniture. So, the coffin is... maker in Valaki hasn't been well. When you need one, it takes too long to get one. You see. Um, is there some sort of issue that's preventing you from being able to bury your father? Ever since he died, the village has become, well, people retreating into their homes, you see. And... 
he was one of the last figures to stand up and oppose that devil. And here he lies. So, I just don't trust our ability to keep him safe. Okay. I don't want his body desecrated. We need... Maybe if you helped with that, she would go with you and go away from here. Sure, it does sound put like it to rest. a reasonable thing to do. We have... We did that last ex- night, as a yes, matter of fact. we have some experience in that field. Um... If that would be the best course of action in order to get your sister to agree to safety, then I, I look around the the group. Is Does that seem reasonable to you all? We could also uh, try and trap whoever it is that is uh, afflicting her. If they if, uh, tr- come once, twice more, then we wait and we bring a trap and and the problem is solved that way. Oh, you've been so eager to not run into danger in the past, Jeswaldo. I'm shocked. Ah, I'm not saying that uh, I would do it. Oh, so you're suggesting that we spring a trap, but uh, not volunteering yourself to do said springing. Very classic. Um, goodness gracious. Maris, what do you think? She's in the, um, in the lady's kitchen looking for her cupboards for food. Right. <laughs> now that's sour. <laughs> um, I don't. She seems really hesitant to leave her home. I don't. I hate to say it, but I don't know that we shouldn't just try to see what we're up against. I don't know. How do you feel about that? Did you just agree with me? I hate. Yes, I did. I, okay, I did. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, maybe we should wait and see how she's feeling. Don't want to, I don't know. I don't like the situation that she's in and the fact that she's already been attacked is, you know, physically is concerning, but I think we should hear her out. She kind of walks back into the room and says, I apologize for storming out like that, but I thought I, I can was... hear when someone's talking about me. So let's do it like I'm in the room, like I have some say in it, shall we? I thought I chased her out. Oh, sorry, yeah. you did. I apologize. So it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you find her kind of go off in and. Uh, Catch her breath for a moment and then turn and see you there. Be a bit surprised by it. Oh. Uh, hello. I'm sorry about that. I just... The way... Just my brother, you know, he... I know he cares and wants the best for me, but... Uh, anyway, I don't know. Um, I... Honestly, and anybody in this party can tell you that I understand loving a sibling um, enough to do anything or stay with them for any amount of time. Um, But I also understand wanting to protect them. Um, I know you your father, it can't be easy, but if it's to protect you and to get you to freedom somewhere else, um, I'd love to do anything that I can to help you with whatever you need. If it is to bury your father, I can assure you our party not only has a paladin, but a cleric who will be more than happy to give him the rights and go through all the procedures to make sure that he's buried wherever you you need him to be buried. Are you servants of the Morning Lord? (laughs) Not the Morning Lord. Uh, I don't really have any gods. 
but um, our cleric and our, and our paladin do, and they're more than happy to give anything that they can to make sure the dead's at peace. Well, thank you. I'm willing to hear what you have to say, and I don't know why you would risk your own safety for mine, but I promise you I'm not helpless. I've been training with my brother since I was little. So, Never said you neither were helpless, are you, love. I take it. Never said you were helpless. Just needed a hand. <laughs> Everybody needs a hand every once in a while. God, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But this has to be done, yes. Right. Uh, now, the others in there are much smaller than I, so maybe they've come up with a different plan, but I hate to see a pretty talking baby about what's upset. best for me, aren't they? Maybe. Let's put a stop to it, shall we? I'd love to. And she kind of walks past you, straightens herself, <sighs> and walks back in and says, what I said before. Okay. What I said um, before. <laughs> I, I catch eyes, uh, connect with Essie a little bit and just kind of do like a little like, everything okay with my eyes? Yeah. Okay. Um, She's just behind her being like, um, glad to have you back in the conversation. Um, we were just trying to get a sense of what the danger is, what might be the best course of action, but you are the one who is in question here. This is you in danger, your body, your autonomy on the line here. I don't want to force you to do anything that you don't want to do. As much as it pains me to admit it, I think my brother is right in this. Though I am also resolute in that I will not leave my family in this important time. I will put my father to rest. And then, if only to leave the danger away from this town, I will go with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We will do everything in our power to make sure that your father is laid to rest properly with all rites and ceremony that he is due. There's a church on the north side of town. It's the only one. All right. The priest there, he can bury my father with the proper rites. Would, mm -hmm. you, would you arrange it? Absolutely. Um, we'll make sure this old coffin we constructed is enough to carry him. Just out of curiosity, um, does it have to be in a church? As long as the ground is sanctified, does a church matter? It's just a building. It's next to where his father, Kolyan Indirovich, and all the burgomasters before that are all buried. It's important to this family. Okay. And I apologize. I thought I had the uh, mute on. In fact, I had turned it <laughs> off. I was yeah, reversed right. on my buttons. We all, we all like koalas. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't koalas like being great. koalas? That's my, my daughter was singing the song, and that was what she was singing. That's <laughs> very funny. So I cute. <laughs> um. So, uh, the location is important. Of course it's important. Holy I was ground. just wondering if there was, you know, a family plot here at your estate, if uh, you were able to sanctify the children in the crypt, that certainly wasn't holy ground. I was wondering if you could do it anywhere. Are um, you able to create holy ground? I, I have the capacity to perform um, special religious ceremonies. Um, <clears throat> I may... Um, hold on. <laughs> Let me check a rules thing real quick. Um, I think 
So to permanently consecrate a ground, I think both costs the hallow spell. Yes, which is, which is higher... not something that I have. Yeah. Um, that is a much higher level spell than I can cast. So I, I am not actually able to create proper holy ground, although I can determine where it is. Um, so... Um, yeah, I, I do agree. If if you are looking to have your father... You're going to take a father... stick and kind of like... <laughs> 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 go get the water. Yes. And I found the grave <laughs> site. <laughs> uh, um, no, I I agree. Um, we, especially if it's tradition for you that we should make sure it's in a proper location, although and any other um, ceremonial elements I can certainly contribute to. Right. I did. I do have a question, though. Mm. Um, it seems to be like on our way here. I I did see a church down a street. Yes, they the they mentioned it's up. Uh, yeah. Why the haven't of town. you taken it out during the day? Pardon me. What? Why haven't you gone to bury your father during the day? Well. It's just the last two nights have left us so exhausted and like I said, Eastmark has gone he's uh, I've gone through the village to try and find um, villagers to help with the process but we don't even have pallbearers, you know mm -hmm. to carry him there I've yeah. been spending this time trying to find someone to take care of my sister once it's done and it hasn't left any, it just hasn't left time. I'm sorry, we're both. We're, no, it, it's totally okay. I'm going to rest a hand on his shoulder. You've tried. Thank you. Yeah. Why no. do you need people outside of the mists to do these? Well. Or from outside the mists, I should say. You, something got you here, Yes you've you're clearly capable I mean look at what you're carrying we haven't seen a mage since well mm. that must have been 10 years ago hmm. um, he can't hear him he he's can. still casting a spell sorry oh he can probably see, he can still by this it. point your spell probably does go off he's, yeah but you see the brand and he looks up and his eyes just glow like a bright blue. And then we'll just look for residue, you know, like yeah. protection magics. Has, has, a, has their father been like holding rituals and, you know, like protection rituals? Yeah. I, yeah. So there's not much, to be honest. It's, it's very, it's very slight. You will detect from besides the items that you're, by the way, you would someone would have taken that cloak oh i had it i yeah. had it on yeah uh, yeah she, yeah you put it's it a on. cloak of protection so oh. okay. plus one to ac and plus <gasps> one to all saving throws it's a very <gasps> nice item yeah um, so exciting but anyway so besides the items that you have become accustomed to which your companions are carrying you sense a sort of threads of necromantic energy within Irina herself. You also detect very slight bits of abjuration magic throughout the house. And as you go across, you see that in every room placed somewhere, sometimes conspicuously, sometimes not, are different holy symbols. There are holy symbols all over this house. I looked at her. And these wards aren't doing much to protect you now, are they? Oh, he didn't notice her neck before, but obviously, because obviously he was casting a spell. Yeah. But he goes over to have a look and says, may I? And asks if he could look. Uh, yes, and she and kind of pull it, undoes a bit yeah. of her blouse and pulls it aside for you to... and just would like to have a look if he knows what creature or animal or obviously lee knows but sure go ahead and make an arcana check or a religion check uh... and while he's doing that do i recognize any of the holy symbols in this place 
I was just about to ask that. Make a religion check for that. I am absolutely the person to make that check. I will also make that check. (laughs) This is... It's pretty clear that this is the work of a vampire. Bum, bum, bum. Um, so... Oh, just Whoa! hold on! <laughs> I what rolled a natural is? 20 on my religion check. He's secretly the, uh, so religious. Paladin <laughs> does not know. However, you notice this is a... This looks like... It's the symbol... It looks similar to the symbol of Lathander. And um, once when you were... Uh, um, there was this one particular collector who had the most beautiful daughter who would dust off his collections of symbols. And <laughs> Oh, you didn't... You, there was not a single one you could find to get in there, this collector of Lathander symbols. And you finally found this one that was this shirtless man with his arms outstretched. It looked ancient, and you didn't. You look well, this is sort of close. The symbols on it suggest that he's facing the the east. So, yes, maybe this, fine. Maybe then finally I can get in the room with her. And you were told, my god, it's the morning lord. It's Lathander, but thousand, uh, thousands of years ago, Lathander was known as the morning lord by some cultures. Please go find a place in my collection for this. And you found a place for many things that day, but that you always remembered that <laughs> the morning lord. Wow. Rise and shine. That is great. And um, <laughs> it is an I old, believe this old is way to refer the go- to the morning, Lathander, the, the morning the wood. Of dawn, or the god of dawn. Sorry. I thought that might be coming. I, <laughs> I was wondering how you got a 23 with a plus one bonus. That's a good question. How yeah, there's possible? an extra plus there's two, an extra two, two in there. In there. It, you it's... have uh, you oh, a D4. Like a reliable talent in there or something. It added uh, a D4 for like, less or something. For... I don't know. Am I still blessed somehow? No, <laughs> but did you take it off your character sheet? Oh, you know what? Yeah. yeah, so it was a critical, but it was it should only be a twenty-one as opposed to. I was just yeah. thinking maybe it was calculated. So suddenly he doesn't know anything. Forget all of what ah! I just said. No, <laughs> no. struck out. I dry start, spell. I dry <laughs> spell. I start <laughs> recounting exactly what he had before long. Yeah, yeah, no, it just sounds like it's just like oh, this guy, Morning Lord. What does he know about Morning no, Lord? No, you find out that it, it, it's the same. So let's see. I did change this when, our, during our last battle when I was blessed. I added a auto D4 always, and I'm taking it off. Nice. All right. I, was, I, I, just, I was like, oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that on there. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it's very useful for helping yeah. to remember things. And, that, like and that's so on uh, the conditions, yeah? So no, the beyond 20, um, oh. when you click on that, uh, there's a space down there at the towards the bottom that if you will like for things like bless or oh, if you've that's got so stuff on there, cool. just sort of stick it in there and auto rolls. Hmm. I believe Peter taught that to me. Oh, nice, very nice. Um, when obviously he looks and sees the the clear vampire bites, he's not sure that anyone else has obviously known their vampire bites. But if you are looking at him when he's looking, then you can see a clear look of worry. In Elimus's face. Elimus, tell us what's going on here. You don't know what this is. I think I do. I'm not confident. We are certainly walking to our deaths if this is what we are facing. <sighs> Spit it out, Eli. Not everyone's as smart as you. You don't remember the bedtime nightmares of vampires yeah but they didn't really live in our town which is completely besides the point considering we're in a different fucking place uh well yeah if this is a vampire then i am now very against the idea of trying to hunker down here and take it on jeswaldo um that does not seem prudent Oh, you think? <laughs> what is a vampire? Um, uh, it's a squishy, twice. fleshy one that's dead. 
but also has fangs. They suck Another blood. one of the, the dead that are not dead. But mm -hmm. is it also eats people? A lot harder to kill, Sarif. Well, well, what I will is, it it. is it significant? <laughs> is it significant that she has been bitten twice? Uh, do I know that it's three bites and a... Is that the same for this or... Um, not not with that role what's, in particular. What's a no. knowledge check for vampire specific information? It would be Typically religion. religion. Um, okay, I would yeah. like to attempt that. I should do that as well. As uh, as... 20. <laughs> uh... You know that there's not a like a magic number necessarily, mm -hmm. but um, it tends to be a lengthy process by which a vampire drains his victim and then is able to provide them with the essentially infuse them with that necromantic power to raise them as other vampires. Have you been bitten? And I turn to look at Ismark. He laughs. No. No one has... I've never heard of anything like this happening before. Not... Did you see the Is vampire? he lying? Mm. Go ahead and make an insight check. My strongest thing. Said no one ever. He'll, <laughs> Nine. As you're kind of... Yeah, he, he seems to be telling the truth. Um, he will kind of wearily go on. He's like, you know, we've... We find people occasionally near the woods, their throats torn out, but, you know, that might be wolves, right? I mean, it's nothing like this. This is different. Um, I ask Irina, um, have you seen the vampire at all? Do you remember anything? I remember the bridge looking out at the cool water and leaning over and then a cold hand on my lips at my neck and then nothing um, I remember the woods walking and a bottle of wine a voice that I loved saying hand me some more wine he said and so I poured a glass and passed it over. And when I looked down to where I passed the glass to him, I saw his teeth in my wrist. And then nothing. Um, Look at her wrists. She'll pull I... it up. It won't. It will show no sign of she exceptionally beautiful, this woman. Yeah, I was just about to ask. Um, did she... Because that... The image of her... She was talking about being at the bridge. I'm mm -hmm. suddenly reminded of... The part of my dream... Where... After I came out of the maze... I saw the woman... At the wall... Before she jumped. She looks extraordinarily similar. I... And to the woman in your dream, just Waldo. Yes. And to everyone's dream, essentially. Who this woman was? Yeah. You remember her at the top oh, of the wedding cake, cake in your dream, Elimus. Hmm. Interesting. I. <sighs> I think what's, if we what's ever... What's going on with all of you? <laughs> I, um, I am thinking that we are absolutely the people for helping you out. Oh. Good. Um, will you talk to the priest then while we prepare father? Absolutely. Yeah. Can I speak yes. with everyone, please? Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll confer. Come on, brother. And they retire. I look at Jeswaldo. Your dream? 
Yes, yes, and I'm thinking that this is all still part of that dream. And the only way I can wake up is if we <laughs> keep this woman from being uh, attacked again. So uh, we will do everything we can to prevent her from being consumed by this creature. And then my dream will be over and I will be able to go back to my life. So in, if that's um, what gets you to be a part of this, then great. Yes, your dream, you will wake up if you protect this woman. Um, <laughs> it sounds even better coming from you. Thank you. Doesn't it? Um, she did. I saw a woman in my dream. Of course, it, you did. Not like you did. Um, <laughs> no, it was Maris first. You know, when we all woke up back in the clearing, and we didn't know where we were. Um, in my dream before I got here. I was chasing Maris because you were gone and like shouting for help. But then when I got to where you were, it wasn't you anymore. It was some, I'm not sure if it was exactly her, but it was someone who looked sh freakishly like her. No, I'm, I'm quite sure that this woman was the woman in my dream. I bit her wrist, just like she said. <laughs> There's weird shit going on here. You bit her wrist. Yeah. I see her at the top of a wedding cake. Honestly, I don't remember seeing this woman in my life. Or dreams. Interesting. Sarif? Lizard. I don't know. Clearly Perhaps. He's paying attention to his start story. If you guys need uh, refreshers, <laughs> you I... definitely all saw yeah. her in the opening. It's oh, a I know. Oh, I know. A character. Okay, good. Just, just making sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I know. I'm pretty sure yeah. it was a lizard folk female at first that yeah, turned first. into her. Yeah. yeah. Um, but smooth skins all kind of look the same to him. So he's racist. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 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 He's pretty. He's, he thinks that the guy is a female too because he has long hair. He's pretty sure. <laughs> He's pretty sure. Just, That's just super ironic because they did, he didn't know you. He didn't yeah. know, yeah. Um, okay. Just, just Waldo also has long hair. Yeah, just you're, a, you're uh, definitely female. I mean, but... Do you guys he plan has... to. <laughs> okay, I don't mean to brush over. No, 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 it's totally fine. Um, I am definitely going to go talk to the priest. Um. I think Marisk and I can definitely take lead on that. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to come with, or do you I will want protect to... the girl. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure he doesn't touch her. Yeah, I'll Thank wait into uh, <laughs> to obviously they go, and I'll pull Essie aside. I say, Essie, I need uh, I need something for my magics. Uh, sorry, do you want to join Would us, you... or do you want to stay here? I can carry the body when it is time. Okay. Um, so does that wait? Does that mean you're staying or going? I wait. Which one am I doing? I think so, I just got confused. I Maris and I are gonna go to the church to talk to uh, the priest. Oh no! I'll stay here then. Okay. So off we go. Religion time. <laughs> right, brother. What do you All mean? right. Not just where I you are am. going. Just the two of you are going. It does. Sound I like guess it. so. Okay. As you head that direction, the street opens up. And you see atop a slight rise against the roots of the pillar of this grand stone, this stone edifice. That castle that the castle is perched atop. There is a gray sagging edifice of stone and wood. The church has obviously weathered the assaults of evil for centuries on end and is worn and weary. A bell tower rises toward the back and a flickering light shines through the holes in the shingled roof. The rafters strain feebly against their load. You see heavy, heavy wooden doors of the church are covered in claw marks and the scorch marks from fire. That's a little concerning. Um, 
I hear what sounds like a moan hmm. echoing from within. Um, sorry, and then I faster syllables. I would like to use divine sense. Okay. Um, trying to get a sense of whether whether this area is indeed hallowed ground. Um, Remind me of the text of divine <clears throat> sense. I think you can so, post it into the roll twenty. Um. Yeah. There you go. Lovely. Um. I was particularly interested in the uh, detection of presence of any place that has been consecrated or desecrated. You um, will notice that uh, you will get a sense from the space beyond you, behind the church's consecrated ground. There seems okay. to be a cemetery behind there. Besides that, you do not sense any other, you do not get any other triggers of your divine sense, essentially. Okay. Just want to make sure it's, I mean, rather battered but just want to make sure everything's tip top shape yeah um let's go find this priest okay okay you open up into a type of entry hall there's a 10 foot wide 20 foot long hall leading into a brightly lit chapel the hall is unlit and reeks of mildew there are four doors two on each side of the hall leading to adjacent chambers you can see that the chapel is strewn with debris and you hear a soft voice from within reciting a, pr reciting a prayer. Morning, Lord, shed your grace upon us. Grant us the expulsion of the night. Purify the darkness within. There is I'm... ahead of you an altar and you can see an old man kneeling before it. I gently approach um and say um blessings upon you um sir i don't mean to interrupt you as you're about prayer. to you speak a few words and his head turns and you hear from beneath your feet father father i'm so hungry father and then one morning lord bless us purify our souls and purge away the darkness within us. So I, I'm going to kneel down next to him and try to more directly get his attention. Oh. Yes. Um, who who are, are you? My name is Claire. I'm my friend Maris and I we've um, come to talk to you about um burying the father of um, Irina and um, uh, Ismark, um recently deceased. Kolyan and Jovich has passed then. Yes. yes. Uh, two or three nights passed. I, I see. It is a that is a sad thing. Indeed. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps I could, and you hear again the sound of Father, I'm so hungry. Let me go. I... Echoing from the basement. <gasps> Morning, Lord, bless us. You might Beautiful. understand my concern at the um, screaming down below, sir. Yes. Is that your son? Yes. Have you locked him downstairs? Uh, my son is very ill. Ill how? He made some very bad decisions when that wizard came to town and he came back like this. I had to keep him in the basement. The morning lord will turn him back. I um, just have to believe. Turn him what? back? He so thin he screams day and night like this no matter how i pray i stay up for days and pray to him and 
pass out from tiredness. Maybe if I can just stay up a bit longer. Maybe if I can just keep asking him, he will restore my son to what he used to be. Will you pray to the morning lord with me? Will you help me restore him? Um, we'll do my best. Absolutely, Maris. Um, perhaps we could assist with your prayers, if that would at least make you feel a little better. Yes, please. Okay. Please. He reaches out his hands to join with yours. All right. He join in his prayers, trying to pick up on the language that he's using. Sure. Go ahead um, and make a religion check uh, with oh, advantage if okay, both of great. you are doing it. Yeah. Uh, eh, 15. Okay. It's pretty good. You're able to find the cadence. Um, you've been to Churches of Lethlander before. Um, Saloon and Lathander are sort of yin and yang, but they are both um, nice. You have, you, by you have advantage. <laughs> good uh, by uh, good clerics. Yep. And no, it, so yeah, you gave her advantage because you were helping. Yeah, you're you're good, Maris. You, okay, you helped. Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much. That's the validation I needed. <laughs> No, 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 no. That's why she rolled with advantage. That's what happened. You're good. Okay. You helped. (laughs) Thank you. Namaste. Thank you so much. Oh, boy. Um, It feels like that, though, because you guys join in the chant and you're immediately jarred out of it by screams echoing from the Undercroft. You know what? Um, Perhaps. Could actually. Sorry, I, what? I'm sorry. I did not catch your name. I'm saying to the priest. Donovich is my name. Um, Donovich. Um, could you tell me if you don't mind? I don't. I don't wish to. Um, make you anxious, but um, could you tell me a little bit more about what ails your son? I, he came staggering home after that night, and I awoke, and that night, in the middle of the night, he was on top of me, on my bed, he, he had the hungriest look in his eyes, and I was just able to push him away. Did he try to attack you? Yes. Yes. He's such a gentle boy. You see, I... I don't... He was good with the bow. You know. Mm -hmm. know. He would bring home deer for... He's always share. He could make the pelts into the nicest... Well... But... When he went off with that wizard to face that... Demon on the hill. He He came back like this and... How long ago was this? How long ago? I've slept maybe a dozen times. So maybe maybe a month. There was a wizard here a month ago? Yes, he came and gathered many of many unfortunate souls. Doru was the only one to come back. And they I prayed went for him the whole the time. Castle. I thought maybe the Morning Lord brought him back and maybe I could fix him. But he still screams. Um, is he night. restrained at all downstairs or is he just locked? No, no, he's locked. Okay. Um, Have you fed him? Have you tried to feed him? Of course. But, but he won't eat. The last no. I saw the rotted plates of food. I did. And after God for morning, Lord, forgive me. I I stopped giving him food. I stopped giving him water. I thought maybe he needed to pass into the dusk and be taken to the night mother for a quiet sleep, but he still screamed six days later. And now it's been two weeks. He still screams. Okay. What have I done? What has he done? I 
I try to I comfort him as best I can. Um, and then just, I'm gen gonna gently stand up one moment, please take Maris aside. Um, you know the whole vampire drainy changey thing that they were talking about yeah. earlier? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I, I have a sneaking suspicion that that's what's going on here. I don't think this kid's coming back. No, it doesn't seem to be that way. How do we help him? Can we help him? I don't think so. I mean, fuck, I hate to say this, but put him out of his misery, shit. <sighs> I hate when we don't have good options. I don't think that we're going to be able to get the father's body over here until we deal with this. And we can't get Irina to leave until we deal with the father's body. <sighs> okay. One thing at a time. We can't do this on our own. We need everyone no. else. I'm, <laughs> I think I've learned my lesson in the last day or so. Um, <laughs> not going to walk into something that's going to, um, bite my face off so um i think we need to go back or maybe would you run back and get everyone else i don't want to leave him alone oh sure yeah all right so i'm gonna s just try to st i'm gonna stay with um donovich and pray with him and try to keep him calm while i wait for hopefully everyone else to arrive okay so briefly, uh, he will ask you why why have you come here uh well in this specific moment to prepare a place for um the for arena and um is mark's father to rest um but it seems that that's not going to be possible until you are well also he kind of nods. See a little tear run down his face. I will do what I can. Um, but who are you? What? Uh, you know the family. You know who? Um, no. Irina and we only just met them. Um, I... we're actually um new to the area. Um arrived god was that yesterday i think that was yesterday <laughs> you're helping them then yeah i mean well. i we follow different gods but i think the intent is the same help those who need it bring peace and you know try to make things better for those who need it the blessings of the dawn be upon you. Ismark, they may call him Ismark the Lesser, but he's a good man. Mm -hmm. And Irina is a lovely woman and bold and bold as well. She's quite sharp wit about her as well. She's just as capable, if not more, than her brother. Mm -hmm. But And then you see this moment of sanity fade as the cries once again erupt from the undercroft. His father, I'm thirsty, and the prayers, almost like a compulsion, begin to resume. All right, I'll stand watch. Do the rest of you come to the church? Uh, I think Eli wanted to me to get spoke opponents or something, right? You're muted. pulls Essie aside and says, uh, I need a favor. I need, I need something for my magic. Maybe you right. can work your words with this woman. All right. I, I, I need, uh, uh, he sort of goes, uh, a pearl about this size. I don't think she's going to have that, Eli. Oh, look at her, she's, she may have some. 
I'm so sorry. I could not help but over here. But uh, was there not a pearl in the gems that we recovered from the uh, house the other night? Um. Hmm. I don't know if we'd have to ask our uh, other than... I have no idea. No, but you're not sure because I have all the stuff. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I can I can try to There's been a perfect opportunity for the DM to say yes. <laughs> I don't... Uh, gold... Are you talking about the gold filigree box? There was something I thought in the bedroom of... That was a box of gems. Let me double check. I've got a, bo a gold filigree box that had rings and a platinum pendant in it. Um, I believe from the bedroom. Um, that might, I think that is what I'm thinking of. Mm. Um, let's see. No pearls. Yeah, no mm. pearls. I need a, I need but, a um, Some very nice jewelry, including yes. a platinum necklace with a topaz pendant. Indeed. Right. Uh, do you, you want can to go see... to that mercantile place? Yeah, right. Maybe the mercantile they will. Place. Maybe they will have a uh, a pearl. So sorry, I did not mean to interrupt. Um, if you know anywhere we can get one, uh, I I don't have any money. I have a few coins, but not enough for a pearl. Uh, do you? Is it going to be used? Because I know some of your spells use. No, whatever. no, it's purely a focus. I channel my magic through it. Right. I I can ask. I don't. I doubt that she's going to have one, but uh, it's you no know, harm in trying it, especially if it's not going to be used. Right. Well, I need to. Focus. I need to keep it. But... Forever. Well, of course. No. <laughs> no. It's not how that works. You don't ask somebody for something and they just keep it that way. I'm not asking for it to lend it. That's, it sounded like you were. That's payment or something. I love my brother. I love my brother. I love my brother. I love my brother. Siblings, am I right? <laughs> All right. I'll ask. You go find the brother. Not this brother, the other brother. His, his name's Esmark? Eastmark. Eastmark. If I can. Um, okay, he will... What do you need? Right. Um, my brother needs something for a spell component, and I was just curious on if you had one at hand. Uh, a pearl? Um, perhaps. If maybe once this is done, I can look through my mother's old jewelry and Spell components, you say? Yes. Would it help protect her? Uh, I'm assuming so. His magic's much more different than my magic, actually. Uh, his is more words and uh, books and spell components. Mine's more just songs and uh, fancy, glittering, decorative words. I see. It's possible that Bilderath might have something like that, too, but it's going to cost quite a bit quite a bit more than in somewhere like Valaki. Um, I can see what I can do. It, it would protect her, you say? Uh, I think so. I don't know for certain, though. I, he's just... You know how siblings can be. They're all over the place. Sure. But he cares for you, yes? As, as you do your sister. I can, I can make it happen. Just give me some time. I appreciate it. Uh, if it is in the uh, the shop, per se, uh, I'm pretty sure we found some a few things. Um, I'd be more than happy to go with you uh, once we get our palette and, and our things from her. <laughs> oh, indeed. Yes, that's, that's probably the best way. 
Right. Uh, sorry for the brother. Um, no, no. Anything to help her. Anything. Right. Uh, well then, I'm gonna go back to uh, them. Uh, you, you go keep watch whatever you were doing. Uh, and <sighs> sorry. And she's just gonna bow her head and walk out the door. <laughs> walk back <laughs> and like go to Eli. Be like no, no, they didn't have any. <laughs> Oh well, I'd have to find one later. Uh, he spoke about uh, the uh, the shop, the one that we saw near the bar. Uh, I think, to be honest, if you need it for a spell component, um, we happily sell some of our gems and stuff that we collected in the house to probably fund your need for spell stuff. My need for spells. Sure. Spell stuff. <laughs> I, I, I don't know exactly what you do. I've seen it for years, and I'd never understood any part of it. No, but it has kept us alive. As it has. That it has. Which is why I am very happy to try to uh, fuel you and your need for spell stuff. Spell stuff. Spell stuff. Very well. Yeah, he looks kind of irritated. <laughs> and she's just gonna go sit down in a corner, probably chat up the uh, the other chick, and just like play on her lute. Uh, no, 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 no! Take your turn. <laughs> or wait your turn. That's the word phrase. Sorry. <laughs> Are you still drunk, <laughs> Jess Walter? Uh, I I wish it were that kind of day, but it is not. Um, yeah. So, uh, what is the party's next general step here? As we um, well, I guess we'll be to... waiting for, uh, Mary's to come out. Mary's to come out. Okay. Yeah. And by this time, they have, she has come back and told you the situation. I do think it would be wise if our two new friends are not left alone. They don't need to endanger themselves, but I don't think that they should stay here. I think they should come with us. Just just a moment. Um, Irina, Irina runs back into the, a room and comes with this silver rapier in her hand, it seems. <laughs> oh, oh, I like her. We like that her. is quite an impressive weapon. <sighs> uh, Eastmark kind of sighs. Yes. It all goes back to the silver weapons and a... Thankfully, Claire has one. Have you been trained in the uh, use of the rapier? She gives a little <laughs> flourish. Apparently, she's and been And then kind of ends brother. with the blade pointed at Eastmark. He said, brother taught me a bit. Not quite uh, that level, but... Um, well, I, I don't... myself. I don't mean to brag, but... Well, <laughs> who am I kidding? I do mean to brag. You happen to be in the presence of the greatest swordsman you are likely ever to have the uh, luck to meet. If you would ever need more instruction, I would be more than happy to help. Right, and if you actually want to learn something, you can ask me, and I'll be happy to help as well. Hmm... Me, I care are you sure to, you go. aren't all related? You compete like siblings. <laughs> Just a bit. I am not related to them, no. <laughs> Good goal, I forgot you were here! <laughs> when did you get here? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Sorry, he doesn't really know what is the fuss is about yet. I mean, the dead body stuff. So he's just kind of been chilling. Yeah. He's right. just waiting for... The, the word. So as you guys approach, you will hear the cries repeatedly echoing from the Undercroft. He leads you to a room with a... Or it's easy to just follow the noise. The priest stays praying next to the altar. and There is a trap door in the corner from which... Echoing under it, you can hear again. Father, please, I'm hungry. So quiet, and only the whisper. Do I know anything about being between? What was that? What was that? 
Do I know anything about like a creature being in between being turned? Obviously, you know, we've got her here, but Sure. Uh make a make a religion check. Oh god. Uh, nope. Ten. It's unclear. It's just because. because. Or something <laughs> just else. Right. That's what that's much more of my speed. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but you hear Guide us, please shine your light upon us. Please end this endless night. Please pray. You know, I'm Lord. gonna give it a May go just in case. And nope, I know nothing. <laughs> yeah, shit. The priests are we here to kill someone? echo throughout the building. The church itself seems to groan under its own weight. I a, ca a crow calls in the distance and a howl of a wolf before the screams of hunger from beneath emanate once again thirsty I... and we will yeah. end there Ooh. for this particular session dun 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 <laughs> <laughs> So thank you everyone for joining us. I yes. promise it will not be any less creepy um, and hopefully a bit of lightheartedness to go along as any good uh, horror show should have. So um, Barovia is a really fun world. You, There are still a ton of people for this cast to meet and I hope you love these characters as much as I do because it is such a uh, joy to watch them uh, stumble through this world. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> you all are wonderful. Thank you for all of you who tuned in and uh, hope to see you next Friday. Come see us. Come say hi in the chat. Uh, we'd love to see you and uh, have also, a wonderful weekend. And also, if you haven't already, check out Sunday night, uh, 6 p.m. this week and 5 p.m. Uh, the week's going on. There's a fun uh, show, Descent into Avernus, run by our beloved Gisualdo DMing. Yeah. So um, we've also got a game before well. that as well on Eros Air Off, which is 4 p.m. What? UK time. I can't remember the time, but um, yeah. I'm also streaming tomorrow night on that channel, which is for another D and D campaign. Um, these guys come from this uh, community as well, so if you like, uh, it's very funny. Uh, wow, how could we uh, find out about all of these things at the same time? Discord, what would be the probably. best way to do that? Yeah, join in our Discord. Discord. Yeah. Discord. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down below, you can see the link uh, or the button. Uh, come and join our Discord. Say hello. And subscribing on YouTube, right? And on YouTube, or yeah. Following. Yeah, we're putting yeah, up all the videos. I meant, I meant Twitch. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Everywhere. What? The internet. <laughs> Lots of, internet, lots of internet. Lots of places. <laughs> lots of internet. Yeah. Well, thanks, everyone. Good yep. night. Cheers, guys. Yep. And Bye. see you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <The internet>. Bye. <laughs>